Let me crank you up a little bit. Chevy. I love you, baby. Let's ride around today. How you feel? I feel good too. Spot around and see what we can't pick up. You know, catfish. Look, I don't really know how you feel about stepping into my car to roll. How do you feel about getting me drop this money roll on ya? But I don't do that though, won't ya? Meet me halfway, baby, if you really gonna cut, gonna what, gonna take me down the road. Experience something new that I've never seen before. Give me a song to sing to. You could be the one to hold my secret. Girl, my lips are closed. I need it. You beat it. I, I believe it. Cars clean and so come see this. Wheels are super clean. Pink job. Anyway, <laughs> we good. Check, check. Yeah, I know he's at he's at professional. What's good, y'all? You're surely here, DJ Knots, kicking off another dynamic edition of the Pulse for Pulse podcast. We have a full, super talented house tonight. But before we get too far into it, thank y'all for support after season fourteen. This is season fourteen. I don't know how you feel about that. Old, yeah, <laughs> right. Alongside me, the one and only partner in crime. It's Will, y'all. Will a thrill. Professional shit talk extraordinaire. Love of the people, the culture, and everything about it. Yeah. What up, blood? What's up, black? <laughs> Craig <laughs> David in the building. Get him black. This... <laughs> Fuck him up. <laughs> we appreciate you dressing up for the um, hey, season 14 for men. Hey, you know. I was told to stop dressing like a bum. <laughs> <laughs> I died. I didn't see that. Oh, you ain't talking about I me. I said you said it. Oh, okay. I was about to say, I see nothing I'm, like that. I'm saying it was said. Oh, okay. All right. Well, you're doing, a, you're doing good. You're doing hey, good. Man. Seven whole days. Seven whole, Seven whole days. <laughs> That's crazy. Courts here. Yeah, I'm here. How you feeling? Ready? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. I'm not expecting new vocabulary words. So, oh, you know. Shit. He said, I'm ready. Let's go. Oh, new, you want something new? Nah, 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 nah. Do your thing. Nah, you look focused. You look focused, man. You good, though? Yeah, yeah. I'm extravagant. Oh, shit. What the fuck? I asked for it. Yeah. I asked for that. I asked for that. But nah, good to see you. Um, We got a super special guest with us tonight. Let's go. Let's go. When we talk about yeah. media, moguls media greats media legends even and it's not even me gassing this up yeah you see he's trying to play right who <laughs> so, who this know? brother um this leader of the community uh. this leader of the culture um i've been doing it in about five minutes not too long <laughs> just five okay just five he is the reason why many of us had the crushes we had growing up Oh really? Yeah, we're gonna get into that in, in just one in, in in a few minutes for sure. Right, Those yes. are facts. We, yeah, that's facts. what's there. Those <laughs> we as in y'all. No, that, you know, you included in this. <laughs> y'all welcome in advance. Y'all welcome you, in advance. We're gonna get to that one second. Um and he's here to talk about the current state of the culture, um, everything that we have going on now, his new venture, and whatever other brilliant brain points, mind points that we come up with. Y'all make some noise with the one and only Adele Henderson. Hey, you. Welcome, it. welcome, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here, brother. Appreciate the invitation, man. Yeah. No, I'm I missing all my sound the... effects. Yeah, yeah, I was waiting for some sound. I, I was looking for this one. Button. Yeah, I was. That's, That's what I was looking for. Yeah. 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 Sam, man. I was trying to remember everything to say, but I didn't want to keep going because I was like, yo, let, I want you to add on what's that's why i clap I, I pontificate yeah, 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 yeah. Clap, I know. thank you the quest love supreme they be having the same ready. they be ready i, I, I thought that was the yeah, yeah, whole, whole, let's, let's whole beat machine over. wait <laughs> quest does, and he talks at the same time yeah man well, i'm quest plays drum yeah, so it's different. Music, it's different yeah, you know, we don't give you a pass it's it's like action, man. you're setting the bar pretty much <laughs> just saying man I didn't realize that. I'm gonna work on that. But yeah, brother, for, for what the parts that I missed, give the people some background who don't who may not be familiar, but watch this. Get familiar. Yeah, watch this. Uh, I'm I'm a media guy, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm a media guy by trade, been in this media space now. Uh tw- this is this is year twenty five. Wow. Shit. Actually, technically it's year thirty. Mm-hmm. So OG. You know, I've been I've been writing, yeah. I've yeah. been I've been writing twenty five years, but technically year thirty. In the media space, um, you know, music, television, film, uh, you know, let's get to what Notch is talking about. So I've done a lot of stuff in magazines yeah. uh, over the years. That's probably, you know, my biggest claim to fame, mm-hmm. uh, you know, Double XL, 
uh, you know, rap pages, Vibe magazine. Come on. Um, and me and, you know, when I was 26 years old, some, some really good friends of mine, you know, we started a publication, a men's lifestyle magazine called King magazine. You may have heard of it. Cool. You know, that was, that was, that was our baby. Um, and then a couple of years later we did rides magazine and car magazine, but, uh, yeah, other, other media stuff and TV stuff and mm-hmm. BT stars, MTV, et cetera, et cetera. I love how you just go past the like it ain't nothing. Something, like, something like I've been around, man. I've been around. I've been around. I've been around. I've been around. Hey, man. Salute, King. Appreciate it. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. Um, so I don't even know where to begin before we even get to the current stuff. So with everything that took place, I know where I want to start. Just a little bit serious. The most interesting thing that happened to y'all this week. Let's go through it real quick because we're trying to be yeah, consistent like... and stick with it. Will, what you got? Yeah, you always swing the rock my way. Every time. <laughs> yeah. l- luckily, oh, l- hey, right. l- luckily, I have <laughs> luckily I have children. <laughs> so um, swinging rocks. It was it was it was it was, it was, it was, it was my baby girl birthday. So oh, that's right. So that 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 was my highlight of my weekend. We went out All to right. dinner. Chad, I told you, man, kids. It's crazy when they get older. The shit they be asking for is like, you know, say hey, we want to go eat for your birthday. You think they're gonna steal like a pizza? She's like, no, Korean barbecue sounds good. Oh, oh right, right, right. Benny yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The price went, the price went up just now, didn't it? It's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a beautiful thing, man. So I got to hang out with her. Uh, celebrated with her. It was like the day before, um, on that Thursday because her birthday was Friday. Mm-hmm. So happy birthday, Kai. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday. That's what I'm talking happy about. Birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday. Oh, yeah. 12? 13. 12. Yeah. Oh, you. That's what my sister did me. We talked about it. Show. <laughs> At 13 age, bro, it was like, golly. Here we go. I need my privacy. That's it. I had to get counseling. Go ahead. Go out the door, lock. Mind your business. Something wrong with your door. That's it. <laughs> Something wrong with your door. Right, right. Court, what about you? What, what I do over the weekend? Y- yes, sir. Can you act like you've been here before? Just <laughs> I just had to make sure. You know, to be ready for my free throws. Uh, I went. I had a basketball game for for a charity. Yeah. Um, March for Dimes. Yes. All right. Um, hosted by Georgia Spartans. I play on that team. That's that that league team. Talk about it. Come on. Yeah, man. It was a fun time, man. It was cool. You know, the brothers was 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 there for fun. Yeah. That's what you called it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We never had fun. Let me That's tell you all real quick, because Court being humble, I was at the game. I DJ, you know, for the event. Mm. And I'm watching this Hall on Globetrotter show. These motherfuckers is playing. Wow. Wow. Dude, listen, he out there doing wow. nutmegs in the first quarter. I was like, yo. Damn, God. Oh, my wow. gosh. I felt bad. It, <laughs> you ain't stopped, though. Because my thing is, my, my yeah, son will never, let, will never see me get beat that bad. I'm dead serious. I'll fake an injury. I'll, I'll, I'll leave. Hamstring, hamstring. Or... <laughs> I'm a win. I'm gonna find a way to get yeah, buckets. Yeah. But it, there's no way possible. And there's no. There's no like slight to yeah. bros. Like, yeah, definitely. But at the end of the day, I don't charge it to them. You know what I mean? But yeah. at the end of the day, I'm I, I charity. Like, hey, they was talking shit before. They they, they laid down too early for me. Pause. Yeah, they they was talking shit to um Jarrell before know, the game started. Jarell, oh, okay. And Jarrell was, was like, okay. hit the gas. We we was about to you know fall back cruise control. Yeah, thing and get again. Yeah, and he was like, nah. They was they was talking crazy. You know when I knew it was real and you was having fun. When you did the, the court length pass, <laughs> I was trying anything just to, get, just to get a wow factor, no matter what it was. Some something. Yeah, like I said, it was like okay, touch that. Yeah, I yeah. felt bad. It's people, kids out in, in the stands, his, his parents, his grandmas, his aunts. Yeah. They was down by twenty five. Wow. The other team, they was down by twenty five. It like like they ten minutes into the game. Oh, ten. Oh, yeah, it was that fast. Oh, okay. I was like, yo. The, yeah. It was that nasty. Oh, it was that nasty. Yeah. Blocking yeah. it on social media. We don't. Somebody don't do something. This shit was wow. <laughs> cool, man. Pull fire alone. Yeah. I love them type of events, though, man. At the end of the day, like, I can play ball. Yeah. do that. Like, it's nothing. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So when it's for a good cause, it, it, it makes it even more fun. So Yeah, shout out to the Zaders. They put that on. They had the um the brothers from, um what's the um the frat? That's with the um the Zaders. Sigma. Thank you. Is yeah. Right? Am I... I think that's right. If I'm wrong, are they? blue. Check my shirt. Okay, thank yeah. you. <laughs> hey, you so much fun to play. All right. <laughs> Um, but you know they do that March of Dimes game every year, so it, it was definitely for a good cause. So I was glad I got to be a part of it. Got to, I got to be in the team. <laughs> Shit was hilarious, but <laughs> it was uh, yeah, it was a great cause. So Adele, yes sir. What about you? Oh. Most interesting thing that happened in the last seven days. Last seven days, I definitely would say the the Kasim Reed event that we did gotcha. uh, with uh, 
I'm on the advisory board for an organization called Rise Creative Village. See, I didn't even know that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So um, we have a property that's about a mile away from Tyler Perry Studios that we're, you know, creating this uh, creative village. I mean, mm. we bought uh, an abandoned elementary school. It was abandoned for like 20 years. Mm. Um, you know, that was a struggle in itself, you know, getting it away from, uh, you know, APS. And, um, you know, the, the community was very instrumental in rallying behind, you know, the team and, you know, making the purchase possible. Mm. And so now the plan is to, you know, just turn that into like a very creative space, everything from, um, you know, workforce development for individuals that's interested in getting into television and film and photography and graphics and gaming. Come on. Um, yeah, and it's right there in the hood. It's right there in the hood, man. So um, it's it's a real cool situation. No excuses. Uh, no excuses. Um, <laughs> was it you know, thirty thousand square feet? He was saying. Yes, yeah, thirty thousand square feet. Um, uh, you know, I, I want to say it's like on five acres of land. Yeah. Uh, we have a piece of land that we're going to be building. Um, not tiny houses. I don't know what they call them. They like tiny apartments. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, the affordable housing piece, yeah, yeah, yeah the affordable yeah, yeah. housing. So, a lot of the creatives are going to yeah. be affordable, and and they're going to be, you know, tied into the workspace, so they're going to be able to, you know, literally live, work, and play. Right. That's dope. Same and area. you know, make their way into the building whenever mm-hmm. you know they have a, uh, you know, time. So it's 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 a real real cool project. And so, uh, Kasim Reed, you know, caught wind of what was going on with the project and got behind it was very supportive. So yesterday, I mean, this last past week was the first of many, uh, you know, conversations that we're going to have a part of a series, uh, you know, just helping to not only create awareness of what we're doing with the creative village, but, you know, just create the narrative of why it's necessary, you know? So with, uh, with, with, uh, mayor Reed came in and talked about, uh, not you were there. Um, uh, you know, just talked about the origin of how Atlanta really, really got back in the mix when it comes to the television and film incentive and getting a lot of the studios interested in coming down here mm-hmm. um, and how instrumental, you know, he was in brokering a lot of those deals right. with Governor Deal. Right. Um, and it was a great, you know, inspirational story. You know, yeah. we learned a lot about the intricate details, uh, you know, getting Tyler Perry interested and in making sure that the deal went through for him. Right. Uh, you know, closing on the... Um, you know McPherson Air McPherson uh you know Air was it Air Force Base, um, whatever base it was. Yeah. Uh, but um yeah, so he was a wealth of knowledge, very supportive of the project. So yeah, it was it was pretty cool. So that was that was my thing for the week. That's dope. Man, that's dope, man. Yeah. You want it? All right. net both. <laughs> Question is, what did I win? <laughs> you had the right. You had you had the right. <laughs> I'm just saying, I, I don't know. We should make it a competition, but you know, oh, normally it's us three talking, yeah. and these two homebodies just be chilling and don't be doing nothing, hey. and they be like, I ain't do nothing this My week. story slap everybody. Like, Bro, you didn't give your story, though. I normally do mine at the end because I wanted to get into it, but you know, that, and I got a bad memory. So I'll oh, start okay. talking, and I'll remember something else while I'm talking, and it'll lead to another story within the story. Then you'll hear all of you got a bad memory, that means you'll forget to tell your story. He's nah, I remember the end. The, that 60. God damn. What? I'm being, I'm being generous. You're going you're gonna to know when you remember, though. It's going to be a loud clap or a snap. Like, yep. Wow. Yep. It will be something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. yeah. But no, I, I'll get to uh, mine in, in a second because, like I said, it always comes up in the flow of it. But now I was going to use <laughs> the, the scene read interview as well, but, you know, that's like cheating. You know what I'm saying? That's stuff like real dude. You was there? Yeah. 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 You was there? Yeah. I was there. Yeah. I was there. And you know what I did like? I do like I down, one so. of the things I do like um, appreciate about Rise um, is – the people that y'all put, like I said, I didn't know you were on the uh, um on the advisory board, right? You know what I'm saying? Then my people, Richard Dunn, right. um, and right. they and they baming them. You know what I'm yep. saying? Oh, yep. that's what I was gonna say. The part about um affordable housing for creatives. Mm. I remember when I was doing work with what is um um Ramit's group um culture. I can't remember them now. Damn it. There was another group they helped with a lot of the creative um goals that the city of Atlanta had. And back when I was really active with them, that was one of the big pushes they were saying. It's like creatives can't afford right. to live in the city. Right. And when I kind of started um drifting and doing other things, that was one of the key hot button issues that they were talking about making that happen. So hearing what y'all are doing now with Rise, right. it's amazing, man. It's amazing because we know what it's like to be struggling creatives and trying to Starving make things artists. happen. Yeah, Starving Starving artists. Artists, yeah. So no, that 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 may be That's one right. of my favorite um pieces of it. But like you said, it's so many different ones. And the other thing 
Um, what's the, the Remy Martin? Name? The, the Remy Martin that was just free, and that was flowing. I only, that, I only had open, one. Bar, yeah, shout out to Remy Martin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Jordan Martin, yeah. Jordan Martin. You know, yeah, Remy Martin. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's my, that's my boy. That's my dog. Yeah, yeah. Anytime they support like that, it, it's always a, a no appreciated. Shout out to them. Um, but what's the creator's name? It's slipping my mind now. I told you I got bad memory. Um, the founder. Oh, you're talking about Jay? Thank you. Jesus. I forgot a, a name like Jay. So we went to the same high school. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I went to, I went to uh, Mina Evans in Orlando. He was there before me. You about to say from Orlando. Yeah, what here, about? <laughs> See, I went to high school in, in, um, in Evans in Orlando. I was there. I graduated in 96. I think he said he's 94, somewhere around there. Or maybe he's 98. I think y'all was rapping. We didn't get a chance to tell because he was no, so No, no, no. I'm just saying y'all was smiles and start, South Star. That was y'all. That was... <laughs> yeah. Hold on. You did not see that coming. You did not see that coming. Tell me what you You did not see that coming. No. See that coming. Not at all. Yeah, nah, they they were younger than me. They're younger than me, man. That's why. And were you just singing their song? Tell me what you think. Yeah, yeah. Stop, man. Let's get one. Let's get one. Just hip hop. Yo, yeah, smiles and sauce. Boom. Just get one. They were artist direct. Yeah, Orlando. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they were trying to represent, and it was like most of Orlando. Because at that time, when they was coming out, they were more young Bobby, guns yeah. and pop, hip hop. Right. And we were still boot popular. camp down there, most of me and my friends. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That, that, I'm so full. Cool. Yeah, hip hop police. Young niggas don't even wear Tim's. <laughs> 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 them ain't still toe niggas. But nah, shout out to them though, man. I did not. Yeah. All right, let's get to it, man. So I, 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 I should have known. I should have known. I, I should have known. And that's kind of one of the things I wanted to talk about. But Jay, you was missing Jay. Yes. Thank you. I told you I'm horrible. I'm just saying. I want to make sure. Jay's a good dude. Jay's a good dude. Yeah, man. He he is. So um, I actually do need to talk to him some more about, you know, the roots and stuff like that. But just... Showing with the pedigree, you know, Smiles of South Star now him. So hopefully I could do something that contributes to it as well. Make Orlando proud, um, that type of thing. But yeah, it, it's and, really huge. And what I'll say about Jay, I met Jay probably about five, six years ago. Mm. And um, at that time, he's doing a magazine. Mm. He was doing like some, you know, production work here in Atlanta. And um, I remember he, he came back to me maybe about four or five years ago. And he had this, you know, he was telling me about this mm. idea for this creative village. And I was just like, man, that sounds ambitious right um, <laughs> definitely was you know i'm never one to say like ah man that's impossible you can't do that because you know so many of the things that i've worked on you know throughout my career you know people have said that same thing mm. um but you know at that time it was super early yeah and um we were just trying to figure out like okay what can we do together what can we you know how can we make it make sense right. um and at that particular time i think it was a little too early Got it. um you know for me um especially being being at you know the things that we talked about uh you know ways that i could contribute i'm like man, we, we talking about some like serious equity if i'm you know, <laughs> we that earlier so i know it's your original idea but man i'm yeah. just saying i know what i could bring to the table right um but no always a solid dude man um you know excited about you know just being on board you know doing whatever i can to help mm. Um, and so this, this is about to be special. It's going to be one of the things years to come. We're going to be looking back like, Oh, that's the thing I'm doing. Right. What are you talking about? Yeah. So, yeah. Good dude. I was slightly right. distracted. Can you elaborate what the uh, creative village is? So it's literally going to be, you know, it's, it's all about, you know, workforce development. We already know like over the last, you know, 10, 15 years, what television and film has meant here in Atlanta. Absolutely. You know, it's like, it's hard to watch any TV show or any without movie that without, that, without that piece being yep. at the end. And that was a very <laughs> smart thing that they negotiated. Brilliant, right. Brilliant, right? Brilliant. So, um, like, that was a huge, you know, thing for the city. You know, that was something that, uh, you know, as I mentioned, you know, uh, you know, Governor Deal and Kasim Reed, when he was mayor, you know, they, they were very intricate, uh, played very intricate parts of making that happen. And so the thing is, when they really, you know, got in their wave, and truth be told, that's how I got down here because okay. I was in L.A. Okay. To, I, I got down here in 2009. Mm. And so when that tax incentive kicked in, which, you know, encouraged a lot of people to make their way to start filming down here yeah. because they would save so much money, money. on production. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of the big challenges that, you know, that occurred at that time was a lot of people was coming, making the movies, but they were bringing in crews, crews from L.A. and New York primarily because... Didn't have 
they didn't have them down here. Right. And these production companies, are, yeah, we'll bring our projects. We're going to bring our people. Mm -hmm. But George was like, nah, man, they don't really work like that. Y'all right. got to make sure y'all y'all are going to boost this economy. But y'all got to hire local as well. And they're like, look, y'all ain't got enough people. Right. You know, we got these multi-million dollar budgets. We can't just put somebody yeah. in front of a camera or behind a camera just because that's they're man. from Georgia. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and so that's why they end up fast tracking the um, Georgia Film Academy. Gotcha. You know, uh, you know, they they put that school together super fast mm -hmm. because they had to create, come up with some sort of solution to justify these movie studios right. hiring local. Right. You know, so they would, you know, OK, cool. Come and train to be a PA. Come and train to be a grip. Come mm -hmm. and, you know, all these different things. So um, what Rise Creative Village is, going back to your question, is a creative village to, to sort of complement, you know, what the Georgia Film Academy is and just help prepare creatives that's interested in getting into, you know, television and film industry. Mm -hmm. We have a facility that we're building that's going to help to train, give them on-hand experience. That's, that's dope. So they can go ahead and transit because it's on. like... Acting as well? Um, or more just on the I'm sure, side? But you know what? I, I'm sure we're going to get into the acting as well. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and music, the way that... Because you got to think, this was a... It was an elementary school, yes, so I, the facility is big. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and the crazy thing is, we broke ground. I'm trying to think, has it been a full year since we broke ground? It may have been a full year since we broke ground. Mm. But in the last calendar year, I don't know if you heard Jay talk about this, but we've had over 600 buildings on that property. That's oh, crazy. Wow. Think about it. This is a, a an elementary school that was abandoned for like 15, 20 years. So, man, you had like all kind of... Overgrown everything. Overgrown everything. Probably homeless people control, living there. Yeah. People you know, just using a bathroom all over the place. So we had yeah. to clean all that stuff out. So mm -hmm. we're in the process of cleaning everything out, getting everything rewired and, and prepared so it can become, you know, just yeah. this, That's, this, 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 this functional entity. Yeah. Right. But in the meantime, during the process of getting it fixed up in this last past year, people was coming and doing photo shoots, mm. video mm. shoots, you know, just utilizing that space, space yeah. you know, because somebody was like, man, you got this space, Jay, you should just... At least you know, throw an ad out there. See if somebody would be interested. And that's all it took. Over 600 bookings last year. Come on. Wow. That's what I'm talking about. You know, because wow. they got that industrial <laughs> yeah. look. You know, no running Fine. water. Yeah, <laughs> but, party outside. Yeah, dude. <laughs> but yeah, yeah with you. <laughs> but we're a creative village. We got, yeah, that's we got fine. creative. That's yeah, it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, just the fact that it's 30,000 square feet, it just leaves so much, so much open, so many possibilities. Right. Yeah. Like, like, because, you know, schools, think about it as a school. Like, it got wings. Right. You know what I mean? So you could easily see this wing is for this. This wing is back and this wing is for music. This wing right. is for podcasting. Like it's just like you said, the opportunity is just going to be endless. And I, what's really dope is like the idea of like giving the creator like some place to stay as well. Yeah. Right. Like right. that's 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 big. I always say, man, Atlanta's one of them places like I love it. If you ain't got no car. <laughs> you, right. You're not getting it, <laughs> and if you can't afford to live in the city, which is, I mean, it's your high. Yeah. It's giraffe pussy out here, like yeah, they ain't right. you know what I mean, like Without so, just the idea that you you give you a space to live, damn, and walking distance, right, to your office. Yep. I mean, that's, that's great. You damn near you you work in 24 hours, and you know how like the the creators are, bro. They don't they their brain don't sleep. Nah. Like my hey, best idea is having at three in the morning. Hey man, listen, all of them. My right. don't sleep. We take naps. Real talk. Dope. I love yeah, it. Very dope. All right, so let's get to it. Because what I wanted to do is talk a little bit about, like you said, you, you spoke about your uh, publication history, the different um, magazines you've written for, been a part of, edited, and things like that. What do you think hip-hop journalism is right now? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, All right. <laughs> All right. Man, you, you play too much. <laughs> Stay. What do you hurt. think record sales are? <laughs> Um, no, it's, it's a little different, man. And the thing is, I'm not going, I'm not going to knock, uh, you know, today's journalists because I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I, I spent most of my career with imposter syndrome when it comes to journalism, because mm. I've never taken a journalism class. Never. Never taken a journalism class. It was wow. one of those things to where I've always been a fan of magazines, had magazines my whole life. We all got our jet magazine mm -hmm. stories, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you know, growing up, but, um, I, I understood the game just based on, you know, being a consumer. So, um, you know, when I first jumped in the game, I had a buddy of mine who was doing an independent magazine. Um, this is when I was, you know, doing an internship in New York. So he was doing an independent music, uh, a, a magazine on the music video industry at that time. So this is 
you know, like 95. Oh, okay. Right? And so, you know, music videos then was hot. Budgets yeah. were high. Hype yep. Williams was like, you know, Lionel C. Martin, yeah. you know, Paul Hunter. Gary Gray back then. Yeah. Gary Gray. Yeah. And so I was a music video head. So mm. I was like, dude, let me help you with the magazine. And, you know, and the he had done one before and it was just like, yeah. Mm. And I was like, man, you working on this new one. Let me help you out. Mm. Right? You know what I'm saying? You the homie. I'm going to go ahead and help you out. I had no interest in pursuing writing at that time but you know my boy was doing something yeah. need some help so i was like all right cool i'm gonna go ahead and help you you know what I'm saying with a couple stories here and there i ended up writing four stories including the cover story mm. mind you we was in new york again as i mentioned and i was telling him like bro i'm gonna tell you what we should do for the cover man this is a dude out of new orleans who's coming this cat named master p you know what I'm saying? I've been looking at billboard. Ain't nothing but triangles and circles. You know what I'm saying? And gold albums. I'm like, yo, y'all up here in New York. Y'all don't really see it yet, but trust me. Like, he's 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 that dude, and he's going to be that next one. And he trusted me. We put Master P on the cover. And um, the magazine came at, came back, and I and I literally couldn't stop touching it. Yeah. I couldn't stop looking through it and seeing my name. Like, ooh, this is kind of cool. Mm. And that's dope. I was, I was hooked. Yeah. I was hooked and you know that started my journalism career you know 25 years ago that was 90, yeah. 96 97 Damn. was that the done what what what, what publications the public it was it's do super super local independent publication called the forum you know okay. none of y'all ever saw it i ain't got a copy of it <laughs> but it literally was what i i used you know to show people got when it. i started writing for double xl and rap pages gotcha you know i was able to show them i did something yeah. and um and the cool thing is, is like, dude, I, I like that first issue. I like interviewed, uh, interviewed Master P, mm -hmm. interviewed um, Vivica Fox, uh, Lionel Martin, um, and uh, who else was it? Was it was because um, it was because it was doing the uh, How to Be a Player, Bill Bellamy. Gotcha. Well, that's the guy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so um, I mean, those are the first pieces I ever wrote. Now, mm -hmm. mind you, I was already doing interviews when mm -hmm. I was in college because I didn't even tell you the story. Like, so um, my career, when I say, you know, it, last, it started 30 years ago, it started when I stepped foot on campus, Michigan State University. I'm yep. uh, originally born and raised Flint, Michigan. Spartan. <laughs> uh, Spartan dog. Went to Michigan State. Um, but as soon as I stepped foot on campus, this guy in my dorm uh, was a year older and he was already doing, like most people, are, everybody's familiar with the whole concept of college radio. Mm -hmm. I was doing college video. Mm. So he was already doing a music video show mm. on campus because there was a a student run uh, a student led minority video production that was funded by our student government. Okay, and so he was a part of this organization. He was a sophomore, but everybody the year before were seniors, so they all graduated. And he was like, "Man, we was doing an R and B show last year, but this year I want to do a hip hop show. So if anybody." You know, knows anything about hip hop? You know, I want to do a hip hop video show. Mm. I was like, man, that's me, because <laughs> I was a dude where yeah. I used to I used to record all the videos and everything on VHS, Rap yeah. City. You know, saying yeah. Rap Week on uh, uh, Video Vibrations, Yo TV Rap, Yo, <laughs> all taking y'all back. <laughs> um, so I knew I was like, dog, I got you. So we started doing music video shows, and mm. that's when I started learning about editing and cameras, yeah. and um eventually start doing interviews in college mm. so like some of my first interviews in college were i think my very first one might have been chuck d hey, you know on, and then from there you know so how does the interview look like when you when you edit, editing for um your editor you would be considered an editor for yep. a magazine when you're editing for a magazine how does the interview how does that look what's that process look like man um for me it's See, as I mentioned, damn, I, I, just a long ass answer to you. No, no, your question about you know <laughs> yeah, journalism, oh, current journalism. <laughs> um, like I said, for me, I, I think the thing that allowed me to, you know, to live and eat in this industry, um, is because I didn't necessarily take it from a standpoint of like, oh man, you know, I got to have all this journalistic, right, you know, skills and take these classes and you know just be so. Uh, um, you know, just, just, uh, you know, your technical, mm. um, you know, for me, it was a lifestyle thing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I knew hip hop cause I lived hype. I lived hip hop. Right. You know, so I just let those, you know, words just 
pour into the pages, mm -hmm. right? And I had technical editors, you know, the nerds who actually studied grammar and yeah, everything. Gotcha. So when it needed to be fixed, you know, they would make those adjustments. Right, gotcha. But conceptually, you couldn't tell me nothing. Like I knew everything hip hop right. as far as like the artist, the lyrics, the lingo, yeah. you know, so that's what allowed me, you know, to get by. And I always was, was a creative when it came to writing, you know, and as I got, you know, more experienced, uh, you know, as a writer, you know, my grammar <laughs> definitely mm -hmm. got better. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and I was able to, you know, edit a lot of material myself, but, um, as far as like, you know, from a, a, a magazine editor perspective, conceptually though, cause that's man, it's like just having that vision and being able to have your finger on the pulse of what's going on, mm -hmm. um, you know, in the neighborhood, you know, in the culture, like that was a huge part of it, you know, cause man, man, we started King, bro. We, we, we did the magazine that we wanted to see. Mm. Like I said, me and Daytuan Thomas, you know, uh, yes, uh, uh, yeah, that's, 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 that's another legend, right? That's my brother, <laughs> but, um, you know, Ben Osborne, uh, Patricia DeLuca, mm. Andrea Boomin, like the, like the core, you know, group, you know, that, that started this vision, Shanita Palmer, our fashion director, mm. um, we created the magazine that we wanted to see. And fortunately, you know, we had a publishing company mm. that was willing to give us a real budget, right. you know, to make our vision happen. And they really didn't bother us when it came to creative direction because they know that that's what we that's did. What you did. Right. You know, so it was very, we were very fortunate. Now, we didn't own it. Yeah. You know, and people, oh, man, I, you know, people assume that we owned it, but I'm like, man, we was 26 years old. Yeah, you know, we like, what what we, man, we want some ownership. <laughs> it's like, well, well, shit, we just won't do the magazine. Yeah. You know, so we wanted the opportunity and the check that we did get was like, shit. 26 years old. We, yeah. we, we taking that. <laughs> we up. And, right. and, and it's like, they didn't know we were making history. Right. And mm -hmm. they didn't know that, you know, 25, you know, almost 25 years later, you know, we still going to be talking about, mm -hmm. you know, these specific issues and covers mm -hmm. and stories and how they created a vibe. And they're going to be in rap songs. And right. Hey, Melissa Ford. Right. That's my girl. Come on. Come that's, on. That's, Come that's, on. That's, that's the homie. That's the homie. <laughs> that's what I'm so when did y'all realize, and, and I'm pivoting again, when did y'all realize like, yo, this is something epic that we got? Was it like at the beginning? Was it on like a, um, issue 12? Issue four. Ooh. Okay. Maya was on that one? Who was that? Yeah, I think that was, uh, you know what? It was the Maya, the Maya issue for sure is the one that turned the corner. Okay. Like that was, that was for sure. I'm trying to think, was that, was that, no, that wasn't, that was, that was year two. Okay. That was, that was that. Cause we started off doing four issues a year. So that was year two, but I knew like <laughs> on set, I was like, okay, we got it. When it came out, I was like, oh, this is it. When I tell you, everything changed. Mm. Everything changed. I remember uh, we got those issues back, man. And um, I used to make sure that, you know, because at that time, you know, I had uh, moved from New York and I was out in L.A. by the time we started King. Mm. And so um, I used to have them send me boxes, mm. you know, the magazines, and I would go hand deliver. Gotcha. You know, like I do now. Right. I was about yeah. to, yeah. <laughs> um, I would literally go to the radio stations. I would go to, you know, the businesses. I would go to the labels, all of that, and hand deliver, mm. you know, the issues when they came out. And, man, when I went over to Interscope, mm. man, I felt like Jordan walking through the hallway. Yeah. You know, <laughs> people's coming out of their office. Oh, that's my man from King. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, dude, we knew yeah. we had one, and yeah. people went, Crazy because we never seen Maya like that. Nah, mm -mm. you nah. know we had never seen Maya like that. So of course, you know when the game song, when it, you know when the songs start coming, it was just like yo for us it's just mind blowing because you got to think, bro. We were, we were lit like we were y'all. Yeah, and getting to create, we were y'all. You know we were we never became that Hollywood bullshit. Right. Like we always been y'all. We always still went to the barber shops, just still kicked it around the way. Yeah, and got the feedback. Yeah. You know we you know. Daytuan would be at the office reading the letters from the dudes from prison. Come on. As, oh, man, who bro. is on page 38? <laughs> bro. You know, like, all, like we would get the real feedback yeah. and we would respond. Got it. You know, so, yeah, as far as the editor, you know, it's like, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, your, your gut, just like as a DJ, yeah. and like, you could, you could feel the energy on the, on yep. the floor, yep. you know, like what to play and what, what to ride. And yep. like, Ooh, I gotta pull, I gotta cut this record short. Yep. Let me go. Same, Same thing. thing. Mm. That's dope. When you put it that way. 
Yeah. <laughs> I could definitely imagine that. But you about to say something? No, bro. I'm I'm just thinking about like <laughs> I'm just thinking about like the inception of that magazine, like my first time seeing it and and like you said, the the connections to like the streets and like even like the prison system. Like I remember them shits just being like fucking gold. Yeah. Like, like you couldn't like <laughs> Yeah, and cats trying to borrow magazines like yo, fam. I know what you're using this for. You want to save it because I, I don't just want to. Pages yeah. don't, just pages don't come apart. Why so? Try to throw it on here, man. All right, yeah, because I remember just my shorts. I was upset that y'all started off with four issues, and mm -hmm. I was like, yo, why? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because back then the internet was just starting, so I was actually trying to do research and see whether, I'm like, yo, there's got to be another issue I'm missing. Right. I was upset because it took so long to get the uh, another issue done. Yeah, yeah. But just still thankful as soon as it did come. You know what I'm saying? So fire. You got to think, man. It was a short. It was a. You got. It's a brand new magazine. Um, you know, it's, it's a young ass staff. Mm -hmm. You know, we. You know, we definitely didn't have a, a large staff, mm -hmm. and so we're finding our footing. And, and plus, you know, as a as a large publishing company, like dog, I tell people all the time, King out of the the public publishing company that we was at Harris Publications, they also, you know, before we came out, they had Double XL, they had That's Slam Magazine, they okay. had Guitar World, they had oh, Revolver, yeah. they gotcha. had Gun Magazines, Knitting yeah. Magazines. We were like Magazine 122, gotcha. right? So it's okay. like they got yeah. a whole portfolio of stuff. Yeah. So they like rolling the dice, yeah, we'll give on these young dudes. Yeah. Yeah. To create something and see if they get a return on their investment mm. right so it's like out the gate you know they're you know really really committed to doing these four for the most part <laughs> you know so we had to hit them so yeah. you got to think the first our first uh four out the gate like we came the first uh cover was lila arcieri mm. you know that's yeah. a you know, little little mm -hmm. real real cute chick out of the uh, vibrant thing video yeah. like scandal gorgeous gorgeous i remember her um then uh Second issue um, was my first like major cover story. We did uh, Gabrielle Union, Bam. Um, and then we came <laughs> right back with Claudette Ortiz, and then um, special times, man. right? right, right. <laughs> and that fourth issue, I'm trying to think. Uh, I think it was uh, the Jill Marie Jones issue. Oh man, I think Listen. that was a. I think that was so. That was like our first. Four issues, issue, yeah, right? So, and we had to we had to show and prove. We had to check yeah. the temperature. We had yeah. to go ahead and you know sort of adapt to what was going on and just make sure, um, you know, we kept things fresh. And so, um, but yeah, man, people, man, people start going crazy, dog. Yeah, that was one of them. Definitely was one of them. All right, so let's um bring it back current then. Acknowledgement, acknowledgement, brother. Talk to us about that. What made you decide to get back into it? And with the print right. magazine, you know what I'm saying? Because you do podcasts as well. You do right, hosting, right, seminars, right, all of that stuff. Right. What made you decide it's time? It was a hole in the marketplace, just like before, man. Um, Acknowledgement is a, a business lifestyle magazine. Um, you know, I've, I've always had a huge passion for community and education. Uh, as much as I've worked in entertainment, I've always, you know, found my way to, you know, work with nonprofits. I've started a nonprofit. Um, you know, been in the in in in, in the schools and the streets, and so uh, when it comes to the business community, though, the, especially the black business community, it's like there's always been a disconnect. I mean, not only uh, as far as a uh, representation when it comes to black media, but even from a you know paying it forward, you know, educating others. You get somebody who started a restaurant; they don't really talk to the OG who had his restaurant for 18 years. They just start. Yeah. And he just go. Yeah. And at the same time, the cat who had his restaurant for 18 years don't come. Hey, man, I see you got your new joint. Man, man, let's go ahead and have lunch one day. Let me, yeah. you know, put you up on some. Yeah, we don't share information. Yeah. Our dollars don't circulate in our community. Right. So it's just so much, man. And so I, I wanted to put together a, um, a platform that would show us in the light that we deserve to be shown in. I wanted to be, you know, just something, you know, just, you know, fly. Um, you know, good paper stock, good quality, right. uh, you know, just showcase, you know, we, you know, giving us what we deserve. Facts, yeah. Right. Um, uh, you know, my, my editorial in the, in the issue, it's so funny. I had a buddy of mine hit me. It was like, you know, swerping down. It was a typo, you know what I'm saying? You know, I, I put black old business and he thought it's supposed to be black old business. I was like, no, 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 we, we oh, owe this. Come on. Mm. Come on. Owe it to ourselves. Come on. Publication like this. You know, we, we owe it to ourselves to support one another and share information. Right. Right. So, um, you know, I just saw a hole in the marketplace, man. And, um, 
you know, it's it's the actual publication uh, version um, of what we're doing is is just one thing. You know, the events are definitely a huge part of what we're going to be doing. You know, in between the issues. Mm. Um, you know, whether it's a, a specific acknowledgement event or whether it's something that um, yeah. I'm affiliated or associated with, just right. like the same read event. You know, I'm on that advisory board, uh, you know, next week, you know, I, I told you to come out to, uh, you know, yep. to the Beasley event, you know, where I'll be interviewing uh, Chris Weber. I'm going to do a fireside chat. Um, you know, I hope to, you know, you know, with, with that booking, you know, because I know he has another one of those stories. So um, you want to ask him about that game? Mm mm. Yeah. How? Mm-hmm. Not because you and Chris go back though. Yeah, I've known Chris. I've mm-hmm. known. Yeah, yeah, I've known. Yeah, yeah. Know, so um, <laughs> even though he went to that terrible school, <laughs> hey, he, he, he was supposed to be a Spartan. You saw that, right? <laughs> you saw that. He, he did say he, did say he was coming over there, man. Some more shady business. We, we dropped the ball on that. <laughs> you got to think that would have been a hell of a Whoa. big three. Because what people don't understand, yeah, we know the Fab Five. Yeah, yeah. was that when Cleves was here? No, nah. if he would have came over to Michigan. If you came to Michigan State at that time, it would have been him, mm. Sean Respert, uh, Eric Snow. You know, because we already had Eric Snow and Sean. It was already fire and nice. Yeah. So Sean, you know, he shoot the, you know, the, the, the leather off the ball. Yeah. He snow. He wasn't trying to shoot. He was just trying to yeah, move. Yeah, you know, he's the fastest it. dude up and down the court, yep. moving the ball. Yep. So just imagine, Chris would have been down there oh, catching all dominating. those assists. You know, dominating in the paint. Sean rest for shoot, man. That would have been crazy, That'd bro. Be crazy. That would have been crazy. You know, but not. Nah, so I, I met Chris um, doing basketball camps with um with, with both our little brothers. You know, my team Cleves, man. Mm-hmm. Um, he coached. Yeah. So he, he, you know, they 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 got real cool uh, playing together. You yeah. know, in Sacramento with the Kings. And, um, you know, stayed super cool. And so uh, Chris used to come, you know, out to our camps and participate. That's you know, up. we used to have like a bunch of, you know, programs that we would do in the community. So, yeah, Chris is, you know, definitely a solid dude. So I'm looking forward to the conversation next I week. I am too. Right. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to be there for sure. And so. if people don't know, man, Chris got one of the largest African-American, I hate that word, the largest black <laughs> artifact collections. <laughs> really? Yeah. Mm. Like he like literally goes on tour, you know, schools because he's a he's a huge history buff. A lot of people don't know, don't mm. know that about him. I know that. Yeah, mm-hmm. so yeah, we're gonna bring a lot of that out in the conversation. Yeah, I'm a I'm a big Chris Webber fan, just as as a person in general, or an appreciator. You know, when you see someone who resembles you, and you can kind of see it in them, and you find out you got the same interests, and right. you look at the world kind of similarly, yep, and yep, it's yep. like you're understanding. Yo, know, my standing is, is not alone. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like when I started Hip Hop Gets Back and I would see people like Shaka Zulu doing interviews yep. with people, and he's saying similar things to what I've been trying to fight for. Yeah. I'm like, damn, not I. I hear long. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. So, so you just be happy to hear it yeah. and just see it in somebody else and just like, you know what? We on the right path. You know what exactly. I'm saying? So exactly. But yeah, now nah, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to that. Can't wait for that. Um, what was I going with that after that? Yeah, that was a question I was asking. No, I know it was acknowledgement. I'm sorry. Like I yeah. said, I'm, I'm thinking about nine different things at once, and I just want to. Um, so Dr. X, tell it, me what I'm re- reading my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Help me out. <laughs> Y'all think Wesley? Never mind. Nah, I don't do that. Nah, sorry. <laughs> um, so for the first issue, yeah, you reached out to the uh, creators and founders of the Gathering Spot, bro. When I tell you, man, it's like I don't know if y'all are in the vision boards. I know yeah. y'all got a lot of you know interest. Yeah, time to Nineteen eighty-two. I ain't never had ET on my wall. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And truth. Um, um, but I got the vision boards, you know, maybe, maybe like 10 years ago. Mm. And, uh, cause it finally clicked to me like, man, I've been doing vision boards before I even knew it. Right. When I put, oh man, what's going on? We, we got some uh, reverb. <laughs> um, when I, so when I was a kid, you know, one of the first things I remember putting on my wall was run DMC, right. you know, mm-hmm. going to the Raising Hell tour, you know, with my big sister. Mm-hmm. Not realizing that, oh man, I've I eventually brought that into fruition. So yeah. I met um like DMC was at my 31st birthday party. Come on. <laughs> I met Run wow. uh when I was working on the Monique show. Mm-hmm. And I met Jay, mm-hmm. Jay Master Jay, probably about two months before he died at uh what is it, the Mix Show Summit out in Puerto Rico. 
Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sat next to him at, 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 at lunch, and I was just like, damn, Jam Master Jay. Right. <laughs> so you are Jam Master J. Did you yeah. know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> and um, so, so I'm at the airport before we left the island. And so that was one like one mm-hmm. like a vision board type moment, you know, for me. And then I remember another one that just really, really stood out was in college when the very first time Tyra Banks was on the Sports Illustrated. Uh, she went to the cover. Yeah. And I went, right. man, I took that cover across the street to the printer, <laughs> had them blow it up into a poster three different ways. Like it was like I had to join <laughs> on my wall. Yeah, that was it. She was inspiring. <laughs> I, um, Extremely. Not knowing that. Me looking at that every Vision day at my college apartment. Uh, college apartment. Six years know. later, I interview her for the cover of King. Wow! Right. So, you know, the whole gathering spot thing. When I when I you know was thinking about the concept, you know, for acknowledgement, it's like I knew I wanted to have a tie to mm-hmm. the gathering spot. Like that was like one of the main organizations that I was like, yo, we definitely got to go ahead and get with them because I knew that the print issue was going to come. I wanted that to be a place where we could distribute it and I want to connect with them, help them tell so many of those stories that happens through, you know, mm. during those, you know, in those walls. And um, this last past December, you know, just, you know, because they had a last, they had a, a rough couple of years. Yeah. Mm. You know, 2023 was rough for them. It, it yeah. was rough for them, you know, yeah. you know, after they got it, you know, the, the, the deal didn't go too well with, uh, with Greenwood. With Greenwood, right. And so when they announced their independence in December, mm. you know, I went to that town hall and I was like, damn, this is pretty dope. Mm. And then, you know, I had already at that point been talking to their team about, you know, just working together, mm. but I wasn't thinking cover at that time. And so when I was there, I'm talking to their publicists and, uh, you know, I'm like, yeah, let's go ahead and definitely make a connection. I want to do some stories about what y'all doing in here. Mm. And she was like, yo, so who, who you got on the cover? You got the cover yet? I'm like, yeah, I got a couple things that we're exploring, but, you know, we haven't that, you know, finally, you know, like, you know, locked in who we were doing yet. She was like, yo, why don't, why don't we just do uh, Ryan and TK on the cover? Mm. I was like, brilliant. Can't that make sense? <laughs> Need a brilliant button. <laughs> I'm like, can't that make sense? Yeah. So um, we, we made it happen. And mm. when I, and the thing is, man, so I always knew the issue was going to drop in February, mm. Black History Month. Right. Um, What I didn't know was that March was their eighth year anniversary. Right. What I didn't know is this is the first time that they were going to bring all their members from all eight cities to one place. I didn't know that they was going to do a town hall on that Friday and a, a, a black tie gala that on Sunday. that Saturday. I mean, Saturday. That, that Saturday. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. So when I tell you everything came together and I just got my magazine, the prints back the week before. So we had it there at the event and Uh, everybody was loving it. And it's just like, come on, come That's like, look at God. Look at God. Like you said, no, 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 seriously about vision boards. Cause I, I started off doing vision boards like years ago. And this is, I'm pivoting real quick, but vision boards really helped me hone in on, um, visualization. Yeah. Right. So I've gotten to the point now, even when we started the show, I visualized what I wanted us to talk about and what it was going to look like. And so now seeing it, I don't even have to write stuff down anymore. Right. If I could just think about it and picture it. Yeah. Like when I do part, you could call it um, a version of meditation even. Yeah. I even visualize what my events are going to look like before I start DJing. So I don't be nervous. Some people like, you're a butterfly. I don't get like that. Because I'm already visualizing. So, right. no, I understand the deep tie when it comes to vision boards and how important they are and how much we need need that part to be a part of our lexicon and really how we move forward. So, I just wanted Manif- to say that. It's manifestation, man. That's it. It's just That's a it. real thing. And it goes both ways. It's like if you think negative thoughts. Yeah. Same way. <laughs> Same way. <laughs> Big time. The law of attraction. Yeah. You're going to get slapped in the face. Exactly. <laughs> slapped in the face with it. So, when is the next um, issue coming out? Next issue is uh, May, I think, 28th or 29th. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so this is quarterly, you know, this year. But we're also, uh, what people will also see is a lot of special editions. Okay. Um, so this is what I'm calling the classic Coke version of the issue where you get a chance to, you know, get, you know, business lifestyle from a, you know, just from a widespread perspective. You're going to get cars, you're going to get health and fitness, mm-hmm. you're going to get, um, you know, business, you know, tips and advice, etc. Uh, but what we'll also do in between issues, we'll do certain specific issues that are dedicated to certain areas. So nice. 2024, you know you're going to get a specific political issue. Gotcha. That's going to be all politics. Got you'll it. get something that'll, that'll be all health and fitness. You'll yeah. get something that'll be um, 
you know, we got a a, a, a guy. I'm trying to uh, freaking draw a blank on his name. He has a. I'm, you probably. I bet you know him too. He has an organization called. Um, uh, is it hip hop pops or something like that? Uh, uh some some along those lines. But he's like, yeah. yo, we should do a Father's Day issue with just with just oh, just yeah. black fathers, right? Mm -hmm. And so it's like those are the type of things that we'll be doing in our you know special issues. Yeah, you know. So that's um, dope. You ever heard of the brand Fatherhood Never Ends? No. Yeah, I'm not pushing it right. It's another brand I'm working on. Really? No, these ones. It's yours? Yeah, it's mine. Yeah, it's called Father Never Ends. It's basically I've like you. Heard of it yeah, like, I, I believe you. Bro, no, I, facts. I got the IG. I got, the, you got the vision board. I have the vision board for it. I Why just haven't we it. seen it? Well, that's a real question. We're not here to put me in a hot seat. <laughs> You're not here to... <laughs> We're here to celebrate acknowledgement and everything that you accomplished. <laughs> need to untie that knot. So the world the oh, shit. Get it off. What, 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 what are we really that's doing right Let's get to it. <laughs> Oh, but no, we need to talk some more about that and, and actually all of that. We really do. It's a big deal. Yeah, it's a big deal, man. So I'm just looking forward to it. Like I said, when I saw you on Wednesday, I was like, yo, where do I subscribe? Where can we get the subscriptions popping? Like, because I'm, I'm already peeping and tell me if I'm wrong that you're kind of modeling how you started King, how you guys started King and doing it quarterly and then rolling out special editions or am I totally off base with that? Um... Well, the quarterly idea definitely came from, uh, you know, just what we did with King and, you know, just volume wise. I mean, it's just smarter to, you know, pace it. And, you know, two times a year would, wouldn't would be enough. Mm. But, uh, you know, four times a year, that's something that's manageable. You know, it's so much, uh, so much talent. So many of us just doing amazing things right. in the business space. Um, you know, in the special editions, uh, I mean, it just has to happen. Yeah. Right. It just has to happen just based on, um, you know, us just having, you know, being able to explore these specific lanes. I mean, we need a full health. When you think about just black people, black, you know, black men who don't like to go to the doctor, yeah. just doing a specific issue. Yeah, I don't want to look at you, but strictly <laughs> on health and wellness, mental, yeah. mental, mental health as well. Like yeah. we need to be able to just focus specifically on that and we need to have a a dummy's guide to politics for a lot of people that don't pay attention to what's going on thank you some specifically specifically oh, focusing on you know politics so um like i said it's a hole in the marketplace man i saw something out there man that, that you know that that we needed has been awesome man people have been responding yeah um so it's, it's been exciting man yeah, super people really, really embracing yeah. it congratulations and thank you brother because everything you're saying is like accurate accurate as to what we need Appreciate um it. <laughs> yeah, I want to get to some current stuff. Oh my god. This I'm tapping out. <laughs> it's just interesting. So we, we, I mean, like I said, like, now you know, want to talk about it. Man. You know what? You know what I do want to talk about? Did everybody here get to see Freaknik the movie yet? Yes. Actually. Shout out to I've not watched it yet. Yeah, I did watch it. Look at me. Look at me, look at me actually watching. Hey, Shout man. out to Frank Frob to P. Frank oh, Williams, the director. Come on. That's um, my bro, that's my big bro right there. Congratulations. I think they did it. Go ahead. No, I, I was going to say it wasn't what I expected. I'm okay. going to be honest with you. I, I thought it was going to be more cheeks. Yeah, I thought it was going to be more of like uh, <laughs> soft porn. Some salacious. Yeah, yeah. Like that, it's like I, that's what I, that was. Because my idea of Fruit Nick is because I never like in person experienced it. Like my yeah. idea of that was that. Yeah. Like so just to watch it, watch it from the perspective of almost everybody like right. watch it from a like a Kasim Reed is on there watching it from that perspective watching it from from a perspective of them talking about um how the Olympics was coming yeah and it was like all right now I'm gonna shut it down right, God, right, right. Shut up y'all yeah, yeah I ain't, this shit ain't gonna happen here yeah but we, we, we trying to get some big boy money yeah. see what I mean and I always say man money is always the root of whatever whatever you think the answer is it, it's about the money yeah you know what I mean so when he broke it down and basically said listen so if y'all weekend is making a hundred million dollars, and they weekend is making six billion. <laughs> who, who do you think we're going with? <laughs> like y'all cooling like, all yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like, like it, it was, it was almost inevitable that it was going to end. Yeah, you know what I mean, it just happened to. I think if it didn't coincide at the time when the Olympic was coming, yeah. it might have had a longer run. But like once oh, the Olympics yeah. was coming, it was just like, yeah, we got to move y'all the fuck out of here. <laughs> so that's really what got it, got it wrapped up. That's what started. I think, I, it. I think that's what started the ball on, uh, uh, amongst the other 
It got out of control. I, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, it was, and it was, they noticed that part. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Nah, it was like they documented like um like towards the end it was rapes. I didn't even know, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Like the I didn't know it started how it started. Yeah, that part. Like was that sick. part was like like it was more like a history lesson yeah. than the whole thing because yeah. I'm watching. I'm like, damn, I didn't know. Like yeah. some cats from DC was like, you know something? You know what we should do? We ain't got no money to go home. Uh, let's do a picnic. Yeah. Yeah, 1983. Like, I'm talking about that's where it started from, though. Like, like, yeah, a, a, a picnic. Yeah, mm-hmm. like turned into something. Like turned casual. into that. <laughs> turned into like, 500,000 people. I think. Oh, and, and a freak didn't come from not not being freaky. Freaky. Not being being freaky. Not freaky. Not freaky. Oh, it's a dance, right? Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. the song. Oh, freak out! Right. Yeah. Yeah. So it came from a dance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. like just the whole the whole thing. I'm watching. I'm like, oh. But they said they was doing the freak. That's a dance. Yeah, it's a dance. Yeah, yeah. It came from the song. But it wasn't like twerking. It wasn't right. Yeah, yeah. That's why the funny part was, yeah, the term twerking had not been invented yet. It was booty shaking. It said, "What was booty shaking?" Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But now they did a they did a they did an excellent job. I just like watching just watch. I love who they went back and got, like a Kasim Reed, like the all the people in Atlanta you would think you want to hear from. Yeah. You know, I was Aunt Missy Killer Mike. That's my guy. Yeah. Um, you said you said last week. I can't wait to hear Killer Mike. Right. <laughs> yeah, like yo, Killer Mike done got him to that like EF Hutton level to me. Like, yo, when he's speaking, I'll be like, all right, y'all be quiet. Let me hear this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let me listen to this. It's a sweep. <laughs> yeah, they're yeah, right, great, man. Yeah, the great um, they had great. him. They had uh, JD. They had uh, Uncle Luke. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Who was officially just from everywhere. Right. Yeah. Um, Shanti. Shanti Dobbs. Yeah, Shanti Dobbs was on it. Um, Oh, I really like what Lil John, like, it just, yeah. just everywhere. They say that's what I was about to say. Rhonda contributed. I really enjoyed it too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, did she? Yeah. Oh, okay. I Jaylen, didn't know that. Jalen. Yeah. Jalen. Yeah. 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 I ain't read all that. Yeah. Jalen Rose is <laughs> on there. Yeah. Yeah. That was fire, bro. Yeah. They did a very, really good job, bro. And it was um, I love the fact that it was more of a history lesson than being something salacious, like I like I may have thought it might have been. I mean, I think everybody did. But I will say this was um, it was it was interesting. I was I was talking with Frank about you know just getting some screeners set up because he wanted to do like. You know, mm. some screeners oh, or some of the fire. schools in the AUC, and I won't say mm-hmm. the names, but they were just like, no. yeah, nah, good, yeah, it's now we're good. We're based on what they what thought, you thought it was, yeah, it was right. like, you know? yeah. so it's like that part I kind of understood, but even Frank was like, yo, just tell them we'll send them a screener, and it was just like they weren't they, interested. They didn't want to touch it. They just be, but yeah. the thing is, everybody was saying we'll watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, absolutely. But they didn't want to, so it'd be interesting to see whether uh, you know whether we. You know, double back and say, "All right, cool, y'all watch it now. Well, right. Can we yeah. screen it now and have a yeah. discussion?" Yeah, I think discussion you know? part is key. I, right, bro. That that Come they on, did man. an excellent job. <laughs> I'm about to say something. No, this is killing. Right. This yeah, is killing. Get, uh, get, get, network ne- get negative, Brandon. Good. <laughs> no, that's yeah, how many. <laughs> Wow. Oh, cool. let me get let him get his one. Uh, we, yeah, because like I said, B is 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 everything Atlanta, and you know we he tends to believe we give Atlanta a hard time, even as much Not as we sense. love them. And I'm like, yeah, what are you talking about? But no, he was definitely. Uh, go ahead, man. You you you're here. <laughs> I, I am here. Yes, I'm 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 very much here. Uh, so yeah, so me and my girl watched it last night. Um, it definitely gave insight. You know more more to the story than I think a lot of us knew. Yeah. Um. At the same time, and that, and that's the good part of it, right? The bad part. Oh shit. The bad part of it for sure. Hey, 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 you say hoes or holes? Holes. Oh, sorry. Just, Damn. just yeah, yeah, yeah. Holes. Just, not just, just, not just making. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. I think there was a lot of hoes and a lot of holes. Oh, so wow. It was. It was. It was. It was, it was, it was somebody. Somebody, so somebody T out here. <laughs> just saying. I had grandmothers in that movie. You, you know, we all had a whole face, so I can't sit here. And I don't know judge. about that. Wait, before we divert, what, what do you think was missing? I think it should have been the docu series because really? they le- they left a lot of stuff out. Mm. The first primary thing to know that it was that. The thing is literally older than me. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Okay, so now understanding the 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 premise of it and why why it came to be and how old it was and how old they were when they started it. Mm-hmm. And then what we're talking about, what we know as free Nick, for real, for real, like majority of the of the of people that know about Freak Nick, mm. you know about three years. Yeah. In the in the grand scheme of things, you know about ninety three to ninety six. Okay, I guess you could say even well, actually ninety three to ninety five. Mm-hmm. 
the glory years were 93 to 95. Mm -hmm. Just those three years. 96 is when it went sour because that's mm -hmm. right before the Olympics and that's when they that's when they blocked it. Yeah. Prior to that, because because what they said was what? 93 was when Luke came on the scene. Yeah. Prior to that, the the freak in Freak Nick was just, the like song, I said, yeah. it was just the song. Yeah. And they just, you know, they ain't know nothing about branding or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? It's, so it's just, hey, we like the song. We like them. Well, just kind of owed to them. Apple made the, the Steve Jobs made Apple because uh, the name the company Apple after the Beatles album. That's where you got it from? That's where you got it from. I didn't know that. Okay. So, so you know, all of that being said, Freaknik was just a place to gather mm -hmm. for, for, black, for black college kids. Yeah. You know, it was family friendly. They blew up and got some traction because of a different world. Mm -hmm. And then after that, you know, it was still just a dope place to come and everybody just, it was a dope vibe. Yeah. Luke came around and said, I'm going to put the freak in Freaknik. I mean, it makes sense. He did. I mean, and, you know, and them not knowing again any better from a branding standpoint that it, you know, this is going to live on after us. They didn't know. Yeah. They had no idea. Yeah. So I give them the grace, but at the same time, what I want to know is by that time they're ten years in, or at least the event is ten years in. Mm -hmm. So they're way out of college. Mm -hmm. Who's running it? They didn't sit here and answer that. They didn't even talk about that. They didn't even all of a sudden this guy comes in and he's running the uh, he's committee chairman of the thing. They put somebody in charge yeah. to try to the brother, regulate, the you know, people. right. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But nobody actually they didn't say like who, you know, cuz there was the coordinating with the city and all of that that never really happened right. and all of that stuff. So did they pass the baton down? Did they and and what they really did in the founders as far as specifically those founders, they gave them their 15 minutes of fame in the intro of like, we're the founders. Mm -hmm. You really didn't see them any, anymore after. Not towards the end. Not, there was the beginning, then towards the end. I was the saying, only thing she said, the only thing the uh, chick said or they, they caught was, 96, I'm done with it. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> that, I remember that, that, was, that was pretty much like, yeah. you know, or 98. I mean, it might have yeah. been 98. Yeah. Whatever it was, there are those lady years, I'm done with it. Yeah. The ugly part, that's the bad part. The ugly part. So my man that owns the trademark Freaknet. Yeah. Now, granted, it looks like he was co-producer of this project, which was kind of a shock to me, especially the way. Is that in the credits too? Yeah. I, okay, I know that too. Well, yeah, that was in, that was in credits. You're a DJ, man. You don't look at credits, man. Listen, I watched the documentary at 8 in the morning the Just day saying, after it came man, out. You're a DJ, man. <laughs> the next day. <laughs> DJ, man. Come on. Y'all trying said, to see. Shame on you. I was trying to see if I All noticed anybody you recognized do. it. Is. That's all I was doing. All you do is play records. If I work on a project, <laughs> oh, then I'm going to check. <laughs> you know what? That's a lie, but I'm going to tell you why in a minute. Go ahead. Finish your point. You're going to forget. No, so, all, all that time. <laughs> so, it's so, a good story. It's a good story. <laughs> so I'm a, I'm a, I don't even know this guy like that at all. I just recognized his face. We'll just say shout out to Carlos Neal for trying to bring it back the way he's trying to bring it back. You know, because at first I wasn't even sitting here paying attention to it like that yeah. as an Atlanta native. Mm -hmm. Um. But shout out to him. Shout out to him for even, it looks like, trying to put this project together. All for him to sit here and have just a quick line at the end to say, hey, I'm the one that, you know, I bought it back. You know, I, I bought the trademark. I'm bringing it back more in a positive way, X, Y, Z, this, this, and this. Mm -hmm. All for basically Luke, JD, and all the other uh, folks to sit here and diss him and say, we ain't fucking with you. That ain't free. No, they didn't say that. They said they, it, that's that was the sentiment. No, nah, I didn't get that sentiment. That, that I got was the, the sentiment, sentiment that it's not the freaknik that they know. That's how I took it. That's the the sentiment. Well, that that's hey, the hey, perspective. Hey, hey. What you everything. say? What? Yeah. Perspective is everything. <laughs> yeah. but generally speaking, the sentiment that they that they left everything with was, we not supporting this. And I'm like, y'all did a whole project for y'all to sit here and this homeboy at the end and hey. It's you see what I'm saying? Yeah, we saw that, that the, was the like, last and, dance. And rather, the last dance. And, and, and rather, <laughs> but but as John like Scotty Pippen right now, <laughs> as general, as you know, Thomas, man, as, as, as generals and the pioneers of you know that that helped pioneer Freak Nick for what it was in those glory years, mm -hmm. right? Why would y'all not, especially why would y'all not actually get with Homeboy? Because as JD said on Breakfast Club interview. Freaknik should be today, if it's still be going on, it should be to the Atlanta's version of Essence. 
That was fast. That was that was funny when he said that. I so, thought that was a reach. So that, JD. 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 Yeah, I thought no, that was a reach. No, no you agree with that? A reach. Yeah. Because it shouldn't have been the, it shouldn't have been the it debauchery that it, that it is That's now. It oh, should you're saying be. before that. I got you. Right. It, 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 or, or it could have evolved. <laughs> okay. It could have evolved. Right. right. It could have evolved. I, that I can that. see. Okay. Right. So so in that so in much. in that same vein, it's like this dude is trying to basically do that, mm. and you're over here dissing homeboy instead of like oh, why why you I you didn't take it as it is. When y'all watch that, was hella, that was hella shade. Did you yeah, take it, it as a dish? I, I don't necessarily take it at that. I thought that what what I took it as is like you're not gonna be able to recreate that. That's all. Like, I was and that, that's that's more what I took it as, and and I get it because. But and, if you, I, and I don't even know if they're necessarily glorifying it because some of that shit you shouldn't want to bring back. Like some of it, was, it, it don't went too far. Some of that shit went too far. It did, but like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I didn't necessarily take it as hate. But I, I I get the perspective you you putting on it though. But I don't I, I don't necessarily take it as that. And I'm not mad at him. We trying to bring it back. And I think he's trying to bring it back in a different way he's because to bring because it, it cannot. Way. You can't do that shit anymore. Like right. that, that shit that they was doing. No, no, been, no, no. Should have been. No. Yeah, you no. you can't do that no more. Okay, like, go ahead. Yeah, no, no, not that. I all I wanted to say was I didn't take it as a diss because like we talked about it last week. Um, it's like when Nas said hip hop is dead. Mm-hmm. I took what JD and uh, Luke was saying was our version of Freaknik that we know and love over with. is over with. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what the the uh, the um comparison that I can make it. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I was like, yo, no, go ahead, be a part of it. But if he's one of the co associate producers on the project, that means he saw the final cut yeah. before it hit the end, right? He's not associate producer, co-producer. So he helped. Put he had an advanced copy yeah. so and could have been like, "Yo, I don't like this." <laughs> nah, this look crazy. <laughs> yeah. I think you, you you're not wrong. Okay, that's, that's what I'm saying. You're not you're not wrong. At the same time, as humans, we got we got various different emotions. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And and understanding like this story needs to be told. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Versus me sitting here like throwing these folks out of here, acting like they're not a part of it. Right. You know, maybe the bigger picture. I don't know. I don't, I don't know, homeboy. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I can't say I don't know none of the people involved in that project. I, I knew you did. You know people that were involved in that project. I just didn't know that, that until it came out. But you know, is is what it is. Um, but yeah, at the same time, I you know I'm not speaking for homeboy, but that that is a possibility. How long you been representing them? Is what I want to know. Nah, that's all right. That's all Appreciate right. it, B. But yeah, just my thoughts. Yeah. But nah, man. I, um, B. Frank, what up, B. Frank Williams? Come on, come on. directing that joint, man. Hey, I was. What up, Rhonda? I love this all the Rhonda Ben Rice. Yeah, Where you know that damn Hampshire footage Frank. from, bro. Like they had to just put out an all call. Like, they did, yeah, yeah, bro. Like you got they did. They were just like when they, yo, when they showing Biggie performing that freak nigga. I'm like, that was crazy. I've never seen that. I'm sorry, we're, we're ruining it. We should have. Bro, no, nah, they got spoiler. No spoiler. Ain't no spoiler. Nah. Oh, okay, okay. It ain't, it ain't Star Shit, Wars. Bro, it is. <laughs> Biggie performing, right? Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. Like, bro, yeah, when they just shut the show, excited scene. Bro, yeah. Yeah. No, but they put out the they put out like the call for yeah. people to send in footage, Anything, and if they bro. use it, they paid them because really? Newface New Face did that. New Face definitely did. That. Oh, yeah, New Face wow. was like, man. Yeah, he's Say like, man, I sent stuff in, and they sent me a check. That's what I'm talking. Oh about. wow! Shout out New Face. He's Shout out New time. Face. Who's also side note. Uh, one of the featured um articles in the first edition of Acknowledgement. That's right. That's Make sure you brother. get your copy in. That's that's, that's that's what's up, Larry? What's that, up, Larry? Come on, man. I tell people all the time, but you gotta protect new face at all costs, man. All costs. Listen, man. Oh, um, Larry. Yeah, man. <laughs> Just continuously throw his government. Out there. <laughs> I'm here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He, he got like, awards. He's like, damn, you put it in the magazine for my government. Yeah, hey, Larry. <laughs> my brother, Larry. Our, our, our daughters play together. That's my boy Larry. Oh, that's up, man? I like. Oh man. Oh um, yeah, man. If y'all hadn't checked that out, man, that uh, it, it's worth watching, man. Just I, I like, you know, I'm a big fucking history dude. So like, when when they when they just got into it, I was already hooked. When I, when I seen them come to the house, I was like, what the fuck is Obi was doing? <laughs> I, I ain't gonna lie, my first thought, you know, I'm an asshole too. So I'm like, is it we started in '82? I was like. 82. I didn't know that. I didn't know. Mm-hmm. I knew that, but actually seeing '83, but actually seeing it, like, I'm like, yes. wait a minute. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Yo, honest, honest to God, I had no idea. 
Yeah, because like I said, I got here in Atlanta in 96. I got here the summer of 96 right after um, the bomb in Centennial Park. Like the next day is when I got here. Oh, wow. So oh, I didn't get to hey, it. Hey, hey, where were you? <laughs> we solved that mystery already. It was not me. Yeah. That's it. No, that's crazy. Sure. Brand new city. Blow some snow. That's why. I'm wild. not with you. <laughs> I'm not with you. That's wild. But no, so my first experience with Freaknik was the following it was 97. So I saw the 97, 98, 99. I saw the traffic jams. I part, see, you know, this is one of the things where I agree with you, um, B, about it could have been a doctor series about how the city of Atlanta shut down Freaknik. You're Freak saying Nick. it could have. It still probably will be. I see what you're doing there. Mm. I, I see what you're doing there. Okay. Right. Yeah, South I, I'm here for it. I, how, I many, think, how many Supermans and Spider Mans we done seen? It's like they gonna, I mean, you know, they gonna, they gonna, somebody else going to do another. Yeah, somebody was doing Somebody was. Yeah, Brian Brian Barber. Um, I saw a post from him on Instagram talking about you need a sitcom. Yeah, somebody else was trying to get his yeah, footage from him. There'll man. be a movie. There'll be yeah. a scripted series. Yeah, be I like, think there'll be a it. cartoon. <laughs> it's gonna be a cereal box. It's gonna be you know a morning cereal. I'm I'm, I'm here for it, bro. Torquios. Oh, Torquios. Yeah, Torquios. Torquios. Yeah, you stupid. Yeah, Torquios is wild. <laughs> And now I'm hearing Lil John doing the hook. Anyway, exactly. I, all I was gonna say, and we can move on to something else. Was I appreciate Glaze Donuts? It. It's the Glaze it up. Glaze yeah. Donut holes. Oh. Donut holes. <laughs> oh. Yo, that's crazy. No, I just Glaze. like I appreciated Glaze. how honest it was. And it, telling the backstory and saying why it went left when the way it went left. Because I thought they were going to try and hide all of that. I really did. People so were scared, scared, man. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. People were terrified. People were, people were scared. Yeah. I, I so I, 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 like I said, I, I watched it once so far. I enjoyed it. And like I said, being there for the latter parts of it, it was cool. So. Shout yeah. out Pete Frank. Yes, indeed. Pete Frank indeed. Williams. Y'all did a great job. Um, Oakland's finest. <laughs> where you want to go? Oh, dog. I, you're not getting me. Come on. We got a couple other topics you want to talk about. Like I said, everything we talk right, about so is culture, uh, man, that type of thing. But get where you at? It's all trash. It's in there. Come on. It's all trash. That is not all trash. Some light? Hip hop? I was going to say, that ain't light, though. Nah, I ain't light. You slapped your mans around. Like, well, hold on a second. You slapped your mans around. Hold on. Again. First of all, th- th- this is just another example oh, of, of, of of the, the, the brightest skin brothers trying to be cool and be inclusive. <laughs> And and the, and the dog skin brother just jump in and start taking shots. Prime example: first person shooter is Big Three. Yeah, we all we love you. Who was Fuck that? It's just Big Me. Yeah, like, come on, let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Every time a light skin brother try to bring us together, yes, y'all was doing. None of you brown brothers just come over here. It sounded like y'all was trying to dominate. No, and, and, and leave us out like y'all tend to do anyway. There you go. Anyway, see that. <laughs> what y'all think? What, what, nah, what, man. What, what, your response is what? What's up? First response. Well, first yeah, of all, bro. Yeah, first reaction. Let's do that. When you first heard. I mean, it's Kendrick is Kendrick, bro. He's not a. He's, just, he's nothing to be fucking. You gonna like. downplay that? Oh no. Oh, okay. Like, I was about to say, bro. Yeah, how many more flowers can I get, Kendrick? He's a fucking musical genius. There we go. That's better. Like right. he's not. This this oh, is Andrew. not. This is not no regular guy rapping. This is god level MC, and you're you're witnessing. Like enjoy. Hey, man. Like Kendrick is Kendrick, man. He ain't better than J Cole, but ah, uh, there it is. But he was so close. I mean, it's he was so close, but <laughs> no, nah, he did his thing. Now, nah, I mean, you know what? I'm gonna tell you why. I, why I like this version of hip hop beef. Nobody's going to die. Mm. There is no. There, there, I don't. I don't see. I don't see. <laughs> hit, hit this out now, because I'm. I'm. I'm thinking about eras of like Ja Rule and Fifty was like, no, no, no somebody's somebody. Y'all better not be outside by yourself. Something they gonna take a shot at one of y'all. It's Mike Queens. Like I'm just being honest. Like th- those beasts were like that was a real like issue. Yeah. Like this shit feels like music to me. And I'm I'm my competitive love in hip hop. I want to see more of that. I love it. I love it. You think I'm wrong? You got Talk stands, to man. It's too many. Oh, no, that's true. That's the that's, that's the thing. It's just the stands. It ain't the actual. It, ain't it the don't artists. even necessarily had to be the artists or the entourages. You know, you got you got the stands. Yeah. How, how dare you? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when you get to the point to where. I don't know. Lyric, lyrics is lyrics, mm-hmm. you know, but depending on how far the shots go, the stands start taking things serious. Yeah, they're taking it more personal than the artists. You know what I'm saying? And that's exactly what happens. I mean, we've seen, like, man, you, man, you better not say nothing about Rihanna, Beyonce. Like, man, they will that's go. That's Rihanna's internet you on. They will go. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> you know, so 
it's the same type of thing, yeah. right? It's the same type of thing. I mean, obviously, you know, uh, shoot, uh, you know, Meek and Drake could have got crazy. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That could have easily got crazy. So that was lyrics. Mm-hmm. You know, back to back was fun. Everybody, you know, it got nominated for a damn Grammy. Right. <laughs> Once they was in the same hotel room and then it was dissing each other from different floors, I knew it wasn't nothing. Oh, but the thing we, we, we know that it, yeah. it could have got crazy. Yeah, it could have gone out of you know, so that, uh, that's 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 the weird thing. Yeah, I, yeah, you know, yeah. I was gonna say that's that's what I don't want to see. Like I, I'm, I'm 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 here for the sport of hip hop and I love the competitive competitiveness of it. Yeah. I, I don't I don't I'm I'm good on all the real beefs. Like it's not I don't. I don't want any of that. And don't leave out Big Sean. Big Sean came back too. He had a bar. Yeah, his, uh, his 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 song was dope. Now, I, Sean, didn't, I didn't listen. Now, See, that's the problem. problem. I didn't listen to it. No, it was dope. Well, I don't listen to it. The yeah, one yeah. where he addressed this. Yeah. We yeah. addressed again. Yo, yeah. Sean. Oh, so not even a single that he dropped. He came back and yeah. said something else. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, I gotta yeah, catch yeah, up. Yeah. I gotta catch up. Sean is cold. Yeah, Sean man. Cold, it's cold. Yeah, Sean. Is I mean, I'm cool with the competitor as long as it stays WWE. But yes, we start. You know. Taking personal shots. Yeah, please, nothing. That's else. when it could get real weird, and that's when yes. the other people could take it like, "Oh, yeah, we riding? Yeah. This is what we doing? We here for?" I need somebody you know to like. I don't no. really like him anyway, right? You know, and it, then it turns into something crazy. Yeah. So it's just it's he ain't even all the way black, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. 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 Court, you been quiet. What you think, man? Did you hear the diss? Yeah, I heard. What you thought? Oh, the song was dope. I think that that beat is crazy. Oh yeah, song was fire. That beat is that. Shout out to Metro. Yeah, nuts. Um. I just know when Drake responds and he actually does respond, he has he says something at one of his shows, which was expected. But when he when he does does respond, I just I'm just I'm just waiting for everybody to move the goalpost when he outward plays Kendrick. No, oh, get him. And, 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 and he Wait, get him. Get him. And he really goes crazy. You think? Because <laughs> we all know when Drake get in his bag and he really get into his lyrical bag, we talk about his I, MC can, bag. Can, can I say quote? Different. I cannot say quote is wrong. I'm waiting for it because because back to back was crazy. He's different. <laughs> can can, can I say man, he's wrong? You give him back time to, to warm his pin up. He's different. When I heard back to back, I was like, yeah, I don't think Meek should say anything. <laughs> that was my first thought. Like, yeah, I don't think he should but say you anything. But you know, everybody. He can rap, and I don't think he should say anything. They're going to dissect every word and try to dumb oh, yeah. it down and make and, and, and belittle it and make it sound like, oh, he ain't, nah. he ain't talking about nothing. Nah. Because to be honest with you, Kendrick, I don't think that it was, it was more or less like lyrical. I think it was just more direct. Okay. I don't think it was any type of like metaphorical type. Yeah. You know, oh no, they were super mad. He was going crazy. In yeah, it felt more direct, like, yeah. yo, I'm that nigga. Oh, type thing. yeah, I, I ain't really catch too many bars, bars yeah. type thing. He was just, I'm gonna tell you, shit. listen to it. Hold on, I'll I'll just, just, I'll I'm not saying it's not any bars. Yeah. No, no, I'm, I'm not, not saying that. that. How many times did you listen to it? I just listened to it on the way here about four or five times. Okay, all right. But like I'm, I'm listening to it, and I'm just like, I love it just because like I know who's involved. Like, and I know what Drake could could, could fucking go crazy with. And I know, like, bro, J. Cole's had the best fucking like handful of verses the past couple of years. Sorry, Kendrick. You are the, you are GOAT level MC. Them fucking J. Cole verses that he been going with crazy, mm. different. Yeah. Come on. Different. And like my man Sorry. said, it'd it be them stand accounts that try to oh, they yeah. try to discredit somebody going and, and yeah. they make it weak. It don't even make it competitive no more. It makes it more or less popularity. Yeah. Yeah. So how long have you been hitting Kendrick? That's what I want to say. <laughs> I like Kendrick. <laughs> like Kendrick. When we talking about that particular, that particular song, <laughs> oh, okay. it wasn't a lot of mm. it was snapping. It was okay. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna let you sleep on it, bro. It really was I'm gonna let you sleep on it. Kendrick could have went way harder with that. Oh yeah, I, I think he, yo, he, he leaving bullets in the clip. That, that, that was, it's a party record. Yeah, that That's why they played it in the yeah. club, so he yeah. can't go too yeah. lyrical, lyrical yeah. with it. That's yeah. what I said. He was, he was yeah. more just direct. Yeah, These are love. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like, like I said, yeah, I, I, you're right. He ain't went in yet. Yeah. yeah I, I Thank you. That. Now you think if they would ask Kendrick, like, yo, y'all gonna put y'all two this record together? Do you want to make that your your go? The back to back. Hell no. Let me get back in there. The Drake back to back record wasn't the first time he said something about Meek. Like that wasn't the first. That wasn't the first shot he took at Meek. That was just the one where he was like, okay. I'm empty the magazine. Right, <laughs> it's a lot of beefs going on right now. Though. That's what that's what I'm not understanding. But see, I, don't, I don't want no real beefs. I don't I don't want nobody like, dying. Like, I don't want nobody in danger. I just want to. But it's being thrown like future involved in all this. Little yeah, thing. It's yeah, woman, so yeah, more yeah. yeah the whole know, future sit down. Sure. I mean, yo, he's involved with it too. Yeah, future, Metro Boom and things like that. So, but let's just focus on on those on those three MCs right now. Even Sean could be a part of it as well because we've all looked at them as this generation's. Top four. Yeah, those are uh, four those... and a half, five. You know what I'm saying? Because even Meek, you know, he, he'll dance with it and then I'm fall at, off a little bit. And I got, but I, why, why are you going to that court? Is that is that the is that the top rung for the 
This is the last 10, 15 years. 10 or 15. Who, the rappers. No, I mean the rappers. Like, who is... Is it? Is it? I'm saying. Three? I'm saying Drake, Kendrick, J. Cole, and uh, Big Sean, and you know, honorable mention me. Big Get him, Sean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sean definitely not that. I'm talking about MCs. Future. I'm not talking Put about future. Right when you had Big I Sean, can't, I can't though. We talking about MCs. Oh, MC. Futures oh, is right. a rapper. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's what, that's what my comparison okay. is. Okay. I'm not talking about album set. I'm not doing all of that right now. Because we'll be here for, for ten years. So, yeah. Okay. Because we know if we do that, then Future, of course, is going to be near the top. But it, it, he's definitely a part of that. Um, Mount Rushmore and all that. So, come on. He's it, going it, to put slime up there? But when we're talking yeah, about when we're talking about MCs and rapping and actually the art of rapping, yeah. to me, those have been the four, four and a half, five for the last 10 to 15 years. Y'all can tell me if I'm wrong. Because the only other person I could see, and y'all going to get mad. I would put Nikki and move somebody else out, but that's a whole other story. So no, that's Nikki true. had a hell of a run, man. That's what I'm saying. Nikki had Queen's a, energy. Nikki had a run. Her, her credibility is on rocks a right now. Run. Yeah, her pin credibility is on rocks. Don't do that. I'm I, done. That's a lot. That is a lot. Wait, Wait. There, will be, there will be no Nikki slender. <laughs> <laughs> so here comes my real question: Is it going to be Kendrick versus Drake, or Kendrick versus Drake and team? When he responds, I want to see the Royal Rumble, bro. Uh, the, bring it back to the WWE reference. I, that's what yeah. I want to see. Everybody get in the ring. Let's go. No, I'm talking about Drake's writers. Ooh. That's what I was talking about. All right, Drake, all right. Right. We're not going to go there for Nikki. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I just wanted to. No. Yeah, not too much on Drake, but exactly. I feel like Drake is not Lord fucking Drake. Man. I'm not saying that he's not. I'm saying we like, know how he's done. I I, it, listen, if. How can I say this? You know what? Not hate. But <laughs> like when people do like, oh, he ain't got. Why the motherfuckers that was writing this shit wasn't writing this shit for themselves? Like I, I don't, I don't remember y'all motherfuckers being that great before Drake came. But all of a sudden Drake came, and now that shit is the now it ain't his pen; it's somebody else's. What are you talking about? How people always want to want to want to take it away I'll, from him? I'll, I'll comment on that, and I'll start by saying I'm not. Or nobody said. Don't offend your no, political no, 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 no. I'm saying like. It's 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 never been confirmed. It's all it's been speculated that yeah. Drake gets help. You know we haven't confirmed that. Um, I'm just going to the the point of, you know, yeah, go make another hove. Yeah. Mm. Um, mm. it's been known that Kanye gets help. Yep. You know, just a word here, phrase here, right? So when you look at Kanye's body of work. It's like the thing is, Apple. Nick, I love the, the the end result is the end yeah, result. Right, right, right. Like, I don't care. Yeah. And now, and the thing is, like, people who have been in the studio with him, like, man, he'll take a word from the janitor. He'll take a word from that person. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, they, like, that's been said. Yeah. But yeah. The, the, the common denominator is yay, right? right. That goes back. So, so to that point, that's not to say that yeah. but a lot of if, people... if somebody go do it on their own, they can do it on their own. It's like, yeah. but to contribute, yeah. you know, to something, to, like, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I don't. Di I don't dislike that because I, man, like you're not in the studio solo. It's not just me you and the engineer sitting there. You know what I mean? Like it, it's you're gonna get inspiration from other people. It's like yo, thing is, you like, said it's like this. Yo, what if you just put the in, in this spot instead of that? All right, cool. Now no, I mean, you, that more than you that. wrote that. No, but but that's a lot of shit that's happening. The people dumb, saying like the, you did it. It's the dumbest argument. And did he never wrote a rap in his life? It's the dumbest argument yeah. in music though it's like why do you care like it don't like it like that shit that's it's the dumbest of the dumbest of the dumbest of the dumbest like yeah you gonna hate on dr dre like he ain't a you, legend yeah because because <laughs> at, at the end of the day it's like yo we all love r&b music mm -hmm. we all like got some of our favorite they favorite writing. favorite none of that rb but they ain't right now like you know it's very of... rare for them to write their um, own music and we don't love it any different we love Beyonce. it's like why the hell do we care in this genre the thing is if if some people could come and help rock him, like not to say yeah. rock him couldn't right. write you know a, a mm. brand new album but if if he could if if he really really didn't have it the, in the, in the full clip, mm. you know, to do a brand new album, and he had some other people they could bounce things off right. of, and if he could give us something similar to to the ride that we fell in love with, right? Please, cares we want to hear. Please, thank you. We want to <laughs> hear. It. You know, if, if somebody else has to come in on a production that could get in it the same way that you know Nas had yeah. found, you know, what I'm saying uh, his pocket. Mm -hmm. 
please like, and thank who you. Who cares? The end of the at the end of the day, we should want the dope body of work. Period. That's a fact. I don't disagree. Well, I do. I disagree a little. <laughs> Maybe yeah. because it's it's hip hop to me, and it's not R and B. But it's always been hip hop that people get help. It's always been that way. Biz Markie wasn't writing. Yeah, but Big Daddy Kane was writing that. You know what, what I'm saying? saying? But the, Easy E wasn't writing. Right, facts. And, and a lot of you know, Ecstasy wasn't writing. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Houdini. Yeah. It's like yo, One Love was still like. Yeah. It was still great. But and we're I not like many ladies. <laughs> it's like the so wind that don't take away yeah. that dog. You ain't man. You write them lyrics, man. I ain't listen to One Love no more. <laughs> man, that's one of the most amazing Music songs records. ever. Yeah. yeah. You know, and it's just like, man, who cares? The only time, go ahead, B. I'm just gonna say this. So, you better be y'all, y'all got, y'all got, bro. Valid, y'all got valid points for sure. You, Will, Adele, y'all yeah. got valid points. Turn his mic As off. somebody who is, are you hilarious? <laughs> <laughs> As somebody who is not a Drake fan, let me be honest. But <laughs> hey, hey, not hate. No, I'm just playing good. I just don't. I, I, I just, you know. I got you. I can't again. You can't, you cannot deny his work ethic. You cannot deny, you know, the results that he's gotten, who he is or whatever. Right. This is just like Beyonce. I'm not a diehard Beyonce fan. I go to a... I'm not with him. I'm not with him. I'm not with him. I clear though. The hog on your ass. Whatever, I don't care. But, I mean, let's be clear. Will I go to a Beyonce show? Absolutely. Yeah, if you go forward to that show. Absolutely. I've been, I've been to one. So, like, I mean, I know I can't deny her work as an entertainer. I'm not going to sit here and say my head is not going to bop, you know, bop or whatever when a single or a song come on. It's like it probably more than likely will. Same thing with Drake. Mm. But I'm not in love with, like, his body of work. I'm just I'm just really not. I think I liked um, when he first came out more so mm. than who he is now. Okay. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So all, all of that being said, though, still, with the way that he responds to getting, you know, to getting this, you know, to, to folks throwing shade, especially on wax, he gets in his feelings first, which is what he did on on this one nah. in the way in the way he did it. What you mean? I mean, the the, the response on stage or whatever that he did, that, that he said is like. Can't nobody fuck with me or whatever, blah, blah, blah. So, something that he said, but he, and he said it in in prime Drake faction. Yeah, it's like he's trying to motivate y'all. Yeah, yeah I get it. I mean, well, I, thought I don't know. I, 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 this is, this, the reality just, is, the I, reality is, you know what I mean, the hip hop, you know, in the recording stage has been around 50 years, been around longer overall, but from a recording standpoint, been around for 50 years. There is like a, Point oh 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 probably point oh 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 five percent of rappers that has been able to just maintain being dope lyrically, you know, for an extended period of time. Yeah, you know. So with that being said, it's like it's it's the dumbest thing. It's the dumbest, 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 dumbest thing in music. Not even just hip hop in music. Mm. Put out, man. if, If if. Man, if any of our favorite rappers can sustain a 10, 15, 20 year career by getting the help, it's amazing. Do that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's production, whether it's lyrics, it's like as fans, yo, give me the dopest body of work. Certain people just got the dopest voices and the dopest yeah. cadence that where I want to just keep hearing and hearing. And like I said, going back to, you know, going back to Yay. He's like, even though he, he jumps off the rails, say crazy things <laughs> yeah, outside, of, outside of mir- outside of music. I mean, outside, yeah, outside of music. But you know, when it comes down to dude, life of the party, yeah, you even know, that just culture song. That's not. Culture, it's like dog. I can't even play that song, but I still like it. But yo, yeah. it's like musically, he got it right. Yeah. In and terms, that, you know what I'm saying? And so, so, so again, to your point, I'm not denying his, you know, his artistry and who who he is, mm-hmm. and as far as a uh, being an artist, he's just not my preferred artist. Th- th- thank you. That's, that's you know what I'm saying. That's not my. Let me finish my thought. So all of that being all of that being said, when it comes down to the battle, I honestly don't think Drake can sit here and fuck with them. 
Period. Uh, no. Ken- Kendrick and Cole. This is a battle between them and, and Drake was an innocent Drake by Drake, Drake was Drake an innocent bystander. That's my <laughs> That's good. The Drake hate is crazy. Come on. <laughs> yeah, he probably go use his team. He is on Kendrick's writing your own lyrics is a career killer. Hey, bro, writing your own lyrics is a career killer. It's like hey, what it's some... career career suicide. Yeah, mm. Some people, Ooh, man, I'm keeping it real. I'm keeping yeah. it broke. I'm gonna keep it broke. Hey, I'm about to get one of them to go I'm right. Keep it broke. <laughs> Hey, oh, so, man, now I do whatever, expect for you to write your lyrics, so if you consider yourself the MC. Boy, I, I, man, I, I want it's, it's, music. I, I, I know it's dope saying, music. Great power yeah. comes great responsibility. So if you're going to take that music. title, you, got, you responsible for writing your damn shit. But I, but, but, but I, 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 I take it. I doubt in, in that sense is right, because like hip-hop is the only genre music we do that in. Like, it, 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 it's just a, just that one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we got to stand out somehow. Yeah, yeah, but but, but, but I get it. Like, but I think it's because so of where the, does it come from? But I think that's the competition, com- the competitive, yeah. the competitive nature. Yo, like, Charlie Wilson, is. like seventy years old, he still bro, got number one because Cass is like writing them hits because they could get in his. You know, it's like yo, we already talk about you know R. Kelly being canceled, but when R. Kelly was Rest in his bag, he yeah. brought. Charlie Wilson, he revived Charlie Wilson. He revived yes. Ron Isley. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're yeah. able to go, they're able to perform. He gave them an extended 20 years on their careers. Right. That's what you I know what yeah. And then the yeah. thing, and the thing is, it's the same thing with hip hop. Like there are certain cats that can write right, right now, now. Yeah. for any of our favorite rappers who aren't creating new music. Mm. And they could go ahead and give them the cadence, the sound, the vibe. Yeah. You know, to the point to where we'd be like, oh, my God, that sounds phenomenal. Right. But just, I don't know, the pride of, yeah. man, I got to write it myself. Yeah. Well, part, I, on, I don't man. know that anybody would care. I, I wouldn't care. A lot about great rappers. I, mean, we I wouldn't great, care. Yeah, plagiarized. Say that again? Plagiarized. No, I heard that. What would you say before that? A lot of our great rappers, what? That we consider great rappers, great mm-hmm. MCs, have plagiarized. That's some kind of way. And we rock the words. And, you know, done, and oh, you talking about them taking from other songs? Yeah. Oh, okay. I understand what you're saying. I mean, yeah. As long as it ain't a whole interpolation of it, and you taking all sixteen like, bars. Like my man said, like over time, when you, when you when you're a creator, you go through writer's block. You go through all type of those th- things that that hinder you from creating. Yeah. So you 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 get inspired. You 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 pick off things. You you know you, you have to reach out sometimes. And I don't I don't fault people for that. Now, if you get a whole project where you get word for word, somebody wrote that down, and you say, here, repeat it. Yeah. Eh. Drake. You lose some points. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. exaggerating. He doesn't do that. I'm sorry. He, I, he, I'm exaggerating. But all right, real quick. What do y'all think? What role should Cole play in, in, in this? Because he's still, I think he could play like the mediator. He could come out and be the bad guy and benefit him. You know what I'm saying? It's because Drake, I'm Drake. Because J. Cole has been on a run. And I was talking, um, I wanted to talk to uh, my people, Shaw Stimuli, about this. I think J. Cole recognizes his place in connecting not just generational rap, but different variations of rap because of what he's created with Dreamville, um, the type of artists he collaborates with. So I think he's in a rare space of wanting to put out more material where Kendrick is going to be like, I'm going to create another masterpiece for y'all. And Drake is in the lane like, y'all going to give me another Billboard number one. Cole is kind of in the middle and be like, I could pull from here. I could pull from here. I could put this together. So that's why I'm I'm really interested to see how he responds. Man, they all going on tour in the summer. <laughs> Everybody's going on tour. Yeah, in the so, so there's a rollout. The four, the four horsemen. They're going to bring out Cole. Cole <laughs> yeah, Sean coming out too. The four horsemen. It's all so a rollout. Exactly. Stay woke. That will never come out. Everybody, everybody come out. Nah, stay woke. Oh, man. So so Cole's not playing the bad guy. I think Cole going to make, gonna, he gonna gonna make Kendrick for like a total lane. For 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 not accepting the unity, court. I love court. I think he's gonna really like put it to where like really do like that's how you feel. Uh, uh, like he's just gonna make dude feel like you 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 corny for that. We trying to we trying to be we trying to make this thing a big three, and you going you going just up in that line. He said he's yeah. a big me. <laughs> and then then the tour is gonna come. Then the tour gonna yeah. Come. yeah. <laughs> I declare war. That'd be crazy. Uh, I would love those three together. I don't even know what yeah, stadiums. They, 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 they should get um Diddy to go into tour with them too. Hey, um, yo, all right, man. We're gonna start in Barbuda. Hey, hey, Diddy should go into it. Okay, look at the time. A, a Diddy oh, Kelly, man. A Diddy, incarcerated. Too. Oh man, oh man. Oh, man. Oh, man. No, nah, no, nah, shut it down. I'm not. That's it. I'm, I'm talking. Shit. I can't say that. Hey. You nah, that's a dunk on it, man. What you mean, Diddy? <laughs> yeah. Did he do it? 
Did he do it? Court, I really want to know what you think. Because you were like, Court is our resident conspiracy hey, court. insider. Court, they kicked two houses in at the same time. Let me tell you something, buddy. When the feds come knocking, they ain't no, ain't no FBI uh, car where they rolling around trying to find crime. Hey, bro, they, feds when, don't when waste the feds gas. come, they, don't they already got gas. you. They don't waste they, they already got you. But I guess, they don't I mean, waste gas. They don't waste time. They don't waste gas. <laughs> they don't waste gas. Hey, yo, bro. Okay. The feds hey, will see you do something. I'm like, nah, he going good. down. And my, I'll get him in four years. My only thing that I'm looking for yeah. is who all, who else is going to go down for this, behind this, and if Diddy is going to kill himself or not. And I'm not trying to be vocal. Uh, damn. I just want to know how it's going. It's suicide watch. You can put yeah, him. Is it going to be a plan fake? It's not, not just focus. It's on fire. Play. It's going to be a plan fake. How it's going to go? Is oh, he, oh, guess. Conspiracy theory. Well, deep now. I don't see Diddy walking in no handcuffs. Doing not? Time. Not, that's what I don't see. So I'm trying to figure out how is this going to happen. Yeah. That's interesting. Is he going to vanish? Yo. Or is he is he going to... No, he's way too popular. He's not like his name is Epstein. He might vanish and claim no, that he no. did it. Not saying, not comparing what he, what yeah. Epstein did to Diddy. I'm not saying that, but Dang. Diddy is too much of a global if figure to just disappear, bro. Maybe I think that this is about to be one of them, oh, Diddy settles out $300 million. Of that. Nah. Same. This is about to be a... Oh, money. It's going to be a wow Ooh. factor in the end result, I feel. That's just what they did to Bill Cosby, right? I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I just be just firing. I give you that. I give that. I give that. I give that. I like it. I just be interested in the conspiracy theories. Thoughts, sir? That you you, you care to brother, share? Bro, brother love. He seems more practical. He's like, man, <laughs> Diddy on the way back. Hey, he hey, hey tote the line. About six months. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Let's do some charity. It's not the worst. I'm going to say this. We hope he ain't do it. No, the sun don't shine forever. Mm. But as long as, as, long it's, as here. it's here, might as well shine together. Mm. Come on. Well, now we'll I never. ain't shining with that nigga. Well, the business all pleasure. <laughs> P. Diddy. Yo, yo, who you know do it better. Nah. Nah. Oh, yeah, that shit was hard. That's one of my favorite. Victory was hard. Yeah, shout yeah. out to J.D. Kiss. Victory Kiss was hard. Victory was hard. Another example of somebody not writing in that shit being fired. Right. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's... it's, it's um, they were talking about it on the Breakfast Club. It's uh, the thing that does suck is that everything plays out on social media before it plays out in court. Yeah. In court, yeah. like we don't know. Yeah, it's all speculation. The thing point, is, yeah. we 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 just we we don't know. Yeah. And um, the way the internet works, you could put anything up because remember they were like, "Oh man, he's escaping. His plane is <laughs> over." And then it's yeah. like, "Why is it Miami?" He's mm-hmm. like, "Man, he's pacing around the right, 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 right." It's just that like, "It's a white dude." Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, right. It's just like, man, you got to pay for the telegram. Yeah, we we just <laughs> like we don't know. That, at the end of the day, we don't know. No, you know, don't. but it's it's a, it's a terrible look, and it's it's crazy yeah. how it went from. Zero to sixty so fast. Real yeah, yeah. I know we would never see Diddy Harmon shake again. Like we like mm. like this time last year, we wasn't nah. Like he was he was good. It was love. Like everybody it was it was love. Yeah. It was all love. Trying to push yeah. a new album. Trying to push a new album. It's just like it just lets you know yeah, like man. it happens that fast. That's, uh, shit was you know, all and, good and, and this is ago. and this is all still speculation. It's not yeah. like a tape was really yeah, convicted of that. Yeah. yeah, but we yeah. all know when the feds Yes, but it, it don't it don't look good. Let me say that it don't look good. Like I said, I don't. I, I can't tell you what's gonna happen in the court, but I know if the feds is there, let's see, they got some that's done stuck. Yeah, it's going. So can I can I put out a hypothetical? No, I love hypothetical. Okay, cool. So <laughs> so let's fast forward eighteen months. Right, he goes to court, gets found. Gets let, let me do my hypothetical. He gets found not guilty, mm-hmm. and then he looks around at people who were supposed to be his friends. Like you. And how they threw him. When shit hits the fan, is you still a fan? Come on. That's what K Dot said. That's what K Dot said. That's what I'm saying. So if y'all were Diddy and that was happening, there's something on a lesser level in your lives. How well, would you feel about people well, who are called to be fr- right. uh, friends and he, he, already don't, you? he already don't fuck with 50, so it ain't gonna matter. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like each other already. This ain't gonna make much Bad money. boy G unit tour. This, this, this is the rollout. This is the rollout. That's a nasty rollout. This is the rollout. It's a disgusting. Oh, oh, man. Man. The power tour. Uh, I mean, it's, 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 that, that would actually work on two different levels. Anyway, so no way out of Harlem. No way out of no way out of power. Oh man, power. Let, I just want to know what y'all think no, about. No that. way out of Dodge Ryan. Because no, I like I said. 
in the way how to die trying. That's hilarious. Ain't, ain't no love bars in there, nothing. Yeah, huh? That's hilarious. All right, let me keep my hypothetical. All right, now, man. All right. But, but you going to say something real quick? Because you came over here like, wait. Tell me how you love Diddy. Since we talked about betrayal. <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna bring up what we was talking about actually before we went live. Oh, good. Um, Talk about a lot. Good. Hey, no, not, generally not, speaking, I mean, one, as we all say, it's it's definitely not a good look. Um, Last you know, night was a really good song with Keisha Cole. Though. Come on, man. Fuck. Hey, come on. You know, I still the, play the, that the, breakdown. Keisha really killed that. Yeah. I'm still gonna bump his catalog. Are you? I'm still I'm still gonna bump the the bad boy catalog. Hold on, let's be clear. Let's go back. Let's go right now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go back. I mean, one hour fifty-four minutes. Go ahead. (laughs) We love Prince, but Prince was not a saint. Let's be. Let's be clear. Dare you? Hey, we love. Nah, Prince. Prince was. Prince is a saint. Let's keep the story because we we got to go in a few minutes. But go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. R. Kelly's catalog is. You cannot compare Prince to R. Kelly, bro. You're not doing that. I'm not. I'm like not. That. I'm not I'm, no, we we not. I'm saying music's not a Finish saint. Your point. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm, yes, I'm like Prince is not a saint. I ain't sitting here saying they're the same people. I'm saying they both had incidents and they both had had some skeletons. Who, and they who is lost. a saint though? Mm. Exactly. Who is a you're saint? Not, you're not wrong. Mm. But I'm just saying in this situation, we've like this is now the, at least the third time that we've seen this from a music perspective. We've actually seen it more than that, but we're just gonna keep it in <clears throat> in black community. Mm. Um, and in our generation. So that said, this started with technically this started with Cassie. Technically, okay, you know, mm-hmm. really started way before that because this nigga has done a bunch of shit over over his career. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> but it started with Cassie. Mm. It's like the moment that all of that stuff went down, whatever. You 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 would think with the Me Too movement, we'll just keep it right there. Mm-hmm. That you know these cats that have these alleged skeletons in the closet, which we've all heard enough of, about. I'm enjoying okay. your dance, but uh, keep going. Go ahead. Cause <laughs> would you, you would think they would actually sit here and like, instead of letting they, you know, I mean, some people just got the ego and Diddy got a huge ass ego. Pause. Um, but hey. <laughs> y'all, y'all hilarious. <laughs> but, um, but all that, all that said, you would think they would sit here and like, yo, take care of like, you know, you take care of your loose ends. And I ain't saying it in the in the sense of like, you know, some gangster shit. For real, for real. Man. Take care of your loose ends because so have a knocked off. It's, just, it, string, it, it's going, it's going around, oh, right? Wow. Like all this stuff is going. Yeah. All this stuff is going. It, it's like, it's, all like right. Like, yeah. Hold on, though. Not on no gangster shit. Yeah, the, the views are for real, for real. <laughs> The views but for real, for real, it's like, yo. Exactly. Uh, he's, he's alone. <laughs> the views that you're hearing. <laughs> We're going to act like we weren't sitting here agreeing on this shit. Not, now, now, now to, to what we said earlier, I was like, if the part that was crazy to me is like, if 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 indeed Diddy did any of this, because it's all alleged, it's all speculative, it's all alleged. Point, right? Like, if he did indeed do this, if I know I got some shit going on and I got a way out of it, like paying somebody off, and I got a ton off. of money, yeah. I'm gonna, pay somebody. I'm gonna pay a bunch of somebody's off right. if, if it's me before it even gets to this point where it's out. Like, and I, I feel like I don't know that he didn't have the opportunity to do all of that, but just the fact that it got to this point now is too late. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, what, what made it even more crazy to me is like you didn't pay the girl off, and then it comes out, and then 24 hours later you pay off. I'm like, bro, why we ain't do that first? Mm. Should have did that before it got to this point. Why we ain't do that first? Why would you pay off though? Oh, because you, you, we, we know why. Uh, allegedly, uh, 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 allegedly, if I had done something wrong and there's a way to buy, buy my way out of it, ain't a price tag you could put on that motherfucker that I wouldn't pay. You know, certain people reach a um a certain uh, level allegedly. of, level of, of status. no uh, status, confidence, yeah. um, believing that they're they're that much beloved. Hey, R. Kelly was out of the country when they got this charge. He came back. You crazy? I'd have been in Africa still, buddy. <laughs> Shit, come get me. I ain't coming back. He was, he was in Africa. But my he whole came back. My whole point to this is, damn, Russell got in trouble. Nah, good. I mean, like I said, the the reason why I just want us to talk on it briefly because, like I said, I'm already tired of talking of about the speculations. It's not only even been 24 hours, yeah. right? Because of what we're talking about, let's actually hear what took place. Right. But the thing of it is, like we said about social media, about the Internet, oh. just by saying, oh, let's hear what they have to yeah. say and what takes place. Oh, you on his side. <laughs> Am I wrong? Yeah. Everything's going to be the court of public opinion until the court actually takes place. I mean, even then. Yeah. I, I don't I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I really man. don't know. All right. So enough on Diddy. 
Oh. That's enough. Yeah, yes. All right. Um, but this weekend. Yeah, what you got? This weekend. This weekend. You not nah, what you got? Oh, I'm uh, I'm in the house and chill. There it is. Now we back. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. The couch. The couch <laughs> is, is there for you. Yes. Ah, ah, yes. Basketball. Do you have anything? Oh, we have Sweet oh, Sixteen. Sure, I've got the ball, bro. Yeah, you got for the winners? Season. Yeah, it's that time. Let's do some predictions real quick. Who you got for the winners? <laughs> Cause these two guys, they they, they, they sports fanatic. They need their own sports show. I want to, but work. you know they LSU. They don't listen to me. LSU. You got LSU. Yeah. And men's or women's. Women. Don't men's what? Don't don't. I ain't talking about football. Stay <laughs> off fans <laughs> with that. Okay. okay. Yeah. Court for the women's. Yeah. And what you doing this weekend? I got Iowa for the women's. Oh, Caitlin gonna come back. Okay. Yeah. Well. So no. <laughs> uh, and then you said men. Yes. Bro, I don't even know. North Carolina. Oakland. <laughs> Oakland laws. No. <laughs> so cold was hot. North Carolina. So you're North Carolina. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Henderson, what about you? Uh, uh South Carolina mm. for the women's. Oh, I'm mm. like, okay. Yeah, North Carolina for the women. And uh That's South Carolina, y'all, it's not. South Carolina, South Carolina, John Staley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had this first John Staley, <laughs> right? For the women, and for the yeah. man, who cares? Mm. Bro, that, that was going to be the point I had after Honestly. he finished. Bro, this is, it's such a wild time that, like, like the women's college basketball is just like, yeah, it's better. It is. Mm. You're saying a lot right now. No, it is. I, I, I don't know that I've ever said that in my life. To be honest with you, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's better. It is. That's what I'm saying. It's saying a lot right now. Yeah. It's, it's, it's more entertaining. Better like it games. Is. We have reached the moment. Like it just is. Kobe is it's smiling guy well, right now. Is, 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 it, is, it, is it sympathy or is it really, in a, is it really nah, just no, like the competition level? It's more, it's, like I said, it's more entertaining. And I ain't going to lie. Never in my life. I'm, you know, I'm a junkie. But sports junkie. You should be clear that up. Yeah, clear um, it up. Thank you. I've oh, never known know more kind of show I was walking yeah. into. <laughs> I don't think it's ever been more known college, female college basketball players than it is right now. Right. Like, oh. like by name. Like, right. you say Caitlin and they know who the hell you're talking about. Jenner. Yeah, that's a fact. You know what I mean? Like, Angel Reese, for real. Angel Jay. Reese. Sam. Like, bro, um, <laughs> Juju. Juju. Like, you, on yep. first name base, like, it's, it ain't never been this. Is it because of the media or is it because they really, they really turn it up? Go ahead. No, y'all go ahead. No, I think they, they, they really, they really going. Yeah. Have another conversation. Let me see that. They really going. When they get in their sports bag, I'd be like, yo, it's a random. Yeah, I'm glad you said that because I'm really going. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you what else helps too is like there's no, you know, a lot of times in, in men's college basketball, there's going to be a, a descriptive number one pick. This is the mm. guy. Mm-hmm. Like, and I don't think Man, men's college know. basketball has that right now. So it's just the 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 tsunami of like the women having a bunch of stars and the men just having like good players. Yeah, like it's it's, it's more coaches that's popular than team than than players. Yeah, it's crazy. Things are, I, I love to see it. It's dope. I really do. Like I said, I'm glad the competition is catching up to the hype. That's yeah. what I'm really proud about. Um. Because like you said, the rivalries, when they start beefing, you got your brother jumping out of the stands. I love it. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a different level. And I think we have NILs to thank for this. Oh, shit. All right. I'm I'm, I'm just saying. To thank or to blame? I say to thank. And and when it comes to women's sports, they would never get this kind of shine without NIL. Oh, yeah. It it is. Basketball. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Basketball more than football? Just give me a hot. Two, go ahead. Teams. Go ahead, rock out. Right? Uh, why do you feel like NILs turned the women's league basketball up? Oh, just the notoriety alone, because they deserved it. They've been having some great games I and seasons for a while. Turned it up, though. No. Think about go go. Let's go back to Pat Summit in Tennessee. Imagine if they had NILs back then and all her players that we can't even mostly even name anymore. Shamika Holtz. Um, thank you, New York City legend. So saying, Candace, wait, wait. Let me finish. You said two minutes. Let me finish right, this. Candace Parker. Um, what's my homegirl name? Um, went to Notre Dame. Um, in WNBA for a while. What was the name? Low, low, That's my girl, Maya Moore. No, no, no before, after Scott, Maya Moore. Scott, 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 Scott Diggins. Scott Diggins. Imagine if NILs were out back then and how big they would have got. You see what I'm saying? I, I, I agree with them. I agree with them. I'm gonna tell you why. Listen, I'm gonna tell you why. So it's just like old school. Oh, Source Magazine, five mics. The same way, like, oh, man, old school Oprah's uh, book club. Mm. You know, it's like wherever the hype goes, it's like, man, hold on a second. 
People saying it's that good. This is getting that many movies. It was it was nominated for an Oscar. Man, let me see this movie. Come on. That gonna create more demand. Mm -hmm. So when you realize that these girls, there's certain girls that's securing crazy bags. Man, let me see. Mm -hmm. Damn. Okay, they balling, and that's that helps. I think it draws attention. That helps. I think the the main attraction is the skill. I think that the girls they always, are, they've are, always are, been more a, skilled. They're all the girls always been more skilled though. But if you look at Juju Watkins, you look at Caitlin Clark. Nobody's yeah. worried about how much money Caitlin Clark's making. We wor they worry about her shooting from half yeah. court, damn near three. But that's what's helping. That's, 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 that's what you're agree with. That's what's was 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 putting them on a platform yeah. though. That's I think it's the their talent, and I think it's the it's the it's the the the. the Competitiveness between the schools because a lot of these schools are juggernauts now. It's not just UConn. You got it's UConn, not just Tennessee. You got South Carolina. You got it's not just Tennessee. Yeah. You have you have uh, many other schools that have real talent that, that they're, they're all dogs. You do realize you're agreeing with us, right? No, I'm not. <laughs> what I'm saying is their talent, their talent, I, I would, I would and the competitiveness of it is what's boosted up the the, the hype more than hype NILs. Up. More than I don't care. Nobody cares about how much money they're making. I'm talking about them having like to say the same stage. I'm saying nobody getting, getting great in, commercials and things like that. Clark because she's she's making four million dollars a year off, off NILs. They're tuning in to her because she's, she's lighting this shit up. I'm saying no, you're right. You're but right. In, in order to get the in order for us to know that she's there though, people mm -hmm. gotta write about it, people mm -hmm. gotta tweet about it, people gotta post you know what I'm saying? Like But this is her skill that that, that that's putting on yeah, the I don't think, know, but but that's the thing. There's a lot of players that ain't doing nothing that's yeah. getting paid NIL deals. Guess what, Nats? What's up? That, that we don't know about. Two things can be true. Oh Lord. Two things can be don't true. Don't agree with that. Yes, two things can be true. Thank you. That's sir. true. Thank two you. things can be true. I do not believe that. And every time we get to a meeting is point, is it real candy in that shit? Or yeah, you want some candy? Man? Is it like how long that shit been there? Is that no, nah, they they go in all the time on, on the candy pause. But uh, <laughs> it, that yeah. one is good. No diddy. Yeah, no, no diddy. Right oh, back Jesus. Back rolling dice. <laughs> that, that's not expired. The rest <laughs> of that shit, you roll the dice. So I wouldn't eat none of that. Um, so you in the house? I'm in the crib though. I'm laying up. Court, you what, no. what you doing? I want to know to uh, Friday. Okay, cool. Well, it's not cool, but that's fine. All right, so can I do my rundown real quick? Yeah. Okay, cool. Thursday, ladies' night once again, Burn Lounge. This week we're doing the Great Gatsby. Now you need to come. Y'all need to come pull up for that, yo. This yo, Thursday we're doing a Great Gatsby party, in Burn Lounge. You gotta Hold dress on, up? I got I got a comment on that. Go I ahead. was at Barnes and Nobles today because it's one of my favorite places in the world. Mm -hmm. right. The Great Gatsby is on the banned list for books. Really. Ain't that crazy? It's a, it's a, it's some crazy, yeah. Why? I have no idea. That's just like a weird fact, but that's on the maybe band list. On the band list. All right, give us a quick book recommendation. Forty Eight Laws of Power. Always. Oh no, nah, you can't do that. <laughs> Why? To my real book reader. <laughs> <laughs> to, to a real book reader, we, you know that's already done, done been touched. Come on now, give me something more updated and recent that you tapped into. That I should go. That I should go read. Updated and recent. Because I'm a real book reader, so you yeah, got to know Forty Eight Laws of Power is like your your that's your, that's your beginner's pack. Yeah. I got a magazine that you should go read. Not Forty Eight. Yes. Well, I know my pops. When I got my 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 first two books. Got, um, the richest man in Babylon. Come on. Nope. Let's go. There you go. There you go. Let's go, Goody. Anything with Napoleon here? What goes with that? Come on. Not thinking grow rich. Um, what's right. up? In a book club I right now, we're reading Why Men Love Bitches. What? That's the name of the that, wait. That's time out. Exactly the name of the book, and I'm not trying to. Oh, I think you're saying that was the name of the group. Nah, that's the oh, name okay. of the book. <laughs> name of the book that we're reading in our book club. I'm about to say you passport bros out what of control. What would Machiavelli do? Man, come on. That's a Tupac album. Explain, explain that to them. <laughs> is that a thought? Yeah. What is that? I, I'm, I'm not familiar with that either. You never heard of? No. Nah. It's a. It's a. I remember buying that from my mother years ago, probably like twenty years ago. What, what, and I, I can't tell you, I can't say where I got the book from, but Satan, I, I just can't. But no, it's it's actually a book that, um, highly enough, it it, it helps out with with management, okay. like management skills. You know, what would Machiavelli do? You know, just to help. Holy shit! Be a little bit more, you know, be a little bit more stern and. You know, when you're decision making, you know, like you might think like, oh, man, I, wow. I should handle it like this. And they'd be like, you know, what, Machiavelli might handle it like this. So I don't know. I may consider instead oh, of shit. what would Jesus do? What would Machiavelli do? That's crazy. You see it? Yeah, Look I do. It it's good. What would Machiavelli do? The ends justify the meanness mm -hmm. book by Gil Schwartz. Is it in Barnes? Uh, this was published in 2000. Mm -hmm. I'm on Goodreads right now. I'm not sure if um, oh, wait, Barnes man. and Noble got it, but. I'm gonna add it to my list. <laughs> it's on the list. <laughs> it's Free on game. the list now. Free game. Yeah. Okay. So, for people who want to support, 
Acknowledgement first off. What's the best way to do it? Go to acknowledgement on all socials. That's the word acknowledge and the word mint, M-I-N-T, acknowledge mint. And one thing I didn't talk about, you know, the whole idea of uh, acknowledgement is uh, the underlining is the power of the black dollar. You know, we don't we don't acknowledge our, our amazing uh, business leaders that do so many amazing things in so many different fields, not just, uh, you know, sports, entertainment, you know, type stuff. It was, you know, intentional not to, you know, lead with one of those type of covers, not to say that they won't, uh, you know, find their way on the cover moving forward. But um the power of the black dollar is a real thing. You know, the trillions of dollars that we have in spending power that we don't acknowledge. Don't use. Um, and the, the, the fact that, no, we use it. You know, we, use it, but we don't we don't yeah. use it in our community. We're the only, you know, community that don't circulate, mm. that don't regularly circulate the, you know, our own money in our own community. And that's terrible, mm. you know. And so one of the things that we're looking to do uh, you know, with the publication is to not only help to expose you of uh, people in business, you know, that look like you. I mean, you don't have an, you, you don't have an excuse. There's a black cardiologist out there. There's a black plumber out there. There's a black construction worker. There's a black everything, yeah. you know, so it's no excuse to, I don't, I didn't know. So I had to go over here. It's like, if you want to buy black, if you want to shop black, if you want to support black, you can. The thing is we just normally don't. So, uh, you know, we're we're another one of those platforms to help create the exposure, to create the pathway to, uh, you know, just, I guess, the cliche black excellence. Right. Yeah. I hate that. It's a cliche, but it, it, it is. has become a cliche. But yeah, acknowledgement on all platforms, acknowledge the word acknowledge, the word M-I-N-T, acknowledgement all together yeah. on all uh, social platforms and also acknowledgement.com. Uh, definitely check us out. It's going to be a lot to come. Uh, a lot of events coming up. It's going to be. Uh, I guess I can announce we have a huge um, small business entertainment uh, summit that's going to be coming that uh, we're doing with the SBDC. Okay. Which is going to be July 11th. So for every small business that's interested in pursuing careers and film, television, and music, but don't know how to get into the industry. Mm. You know, so if you have, if you're a barber, if you have a restaurant and you want to do catering, if you, uh, you know, work in construction, you could build sets and you're interested, like, man, I would love to work on a television set or in the, you know, on a movie. It's like, you know, we're going to have the summit, you know, that's going to, you know, like I said, it's working with the SBDC, which is a part of the SBA and that's a whole lot of Alphabets for you people. It's a lot of support. Put it that aren't paying attention, but the SBA is the the Small Business Administration. It's a government uh, program. Uh, There's so much, man. There's so many resources out there. Mm. And do your homework. SBA. Look up SBA. Look up SBDC. Look up SCORE. There's a lot of free resources for you to learn how to do your business the right way that are available. And the thing is. They give you access to these consultations because they want your business to thrive, so you can be successful, so you can pay taxes. Right, that's it. They they want you to win. Yeah, the right. So 